No, I can't see it. That's why I was saying. Oh, yeah, you can't see it, but we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, welcome to a fun and exciting edition of This Week in Toy Culture. My name is Arash. With me always, from the Rhode Island, that's Michael Burgi. What up there, Hash? How you doing, buddy? Doing all right, doing all right. Got, got a little, uh, got some toys. I mean, look, we just talked about, um, last, was it on Sunday, we were talking about Baby Yoda's. Mm -hmm. Last weekend, we were talking about all the toy releases. I'm surprised that I didn't get, get to see a new Funko yet uh, prior because the last two episodes, we did see toys get released literally the week after the episode aired. Yeah. Um, so maybe that was like the reasoning. Or are there toys later down the line that we haven't seen yet? Uh, and and Funko is just happening, happened to just hide stuff from us. And I never like it when 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 they're hiding stuff from us. I Stop think that's hiding. what Funko. Well, I think Funko's doing that right now just because they're trying to keep everything out of uh, you know, the the limelight per se before the episodes air and ruin anything shows, ruin anything for plots or you know character development stuff like that. Because uh, I'm actually surprised after the last episode we haven't seen anything for Bo Katan or any of those. You know. That's true, but if you remember correctly, not too long ago before the season aired, there was a newer version of Bo-Katan, and right. there was a new version of Ahsoka, but mm -hmm. it was the Rebels, uh, cart I guess the cartoon editions, so let's say Rebels editions? Yes. Or Clone Wars editions? I don't know exactly which editions, but you know, but you know exactly what I'm talking about, brah. Yeah, I got you. I know what you're saying. I, 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 uh, I feel like putting that in. You're what? I say I feel what you're putting down, the vibe. Right, you know, I get the it. vibe. The the vibe is the vibe is toys come, toys go. It got released, so we're, everyone's waiting for a Rosario Dawson look. Everyone's waiting for the Bo Katan look. Everyone's waiting for those update. I, I guess what updated face scans we'll say. Yeah, that's what it is. What it is. And 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 speaking of stuff with updated face scans, I love toys. I love. That they're coming back, especially stuff that we do love and enjoy. So this is a new toy company called uh, BTS. Don't know, don't know really much about it, but this toy is going to get released at Hot Topic, and it goes in line with the old school McFarlane toys. When you got your Rob Zombies, um, to um, Ozzy Osbourne, to Kiss, to previously Metallica. Now you can add some slash into the mix. Um, so this toy is uh the BTS Axe Guns N' Roses slash action figure. It is released at hottopic.com. Uh retails about 1850. Not that bad for a toy. No. But no, uh no. you know, it's what the toy looks like. Nothing crazy, you know. Especially it comes with a accurate, as I like to say, accurate Gibson guitar. But it doesn't. It isn't accurate enough because normally some of his come with pick guards, depending on which one it is. Yeah, does come with this top hat. Sunglasses don't come off. No, I mean, because man, have you ever seen Slash with his glasses off? Rarely you, ever you ever see. I was gonna say Slash's glasses never come off. Those things are like I think he sleeps in them too. Like they're prescription. Would you rec Would you recognize him? Would you recognize Slash if you saw him in public without his sunglasses? I don't even know what the hell he looks like without the sunglasses on, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I know what he looks look, I know what he looks like because I've seen let's just say for example, I've seen Corey Taylor from Slipknot walk around New York Comic Con and no one recognized what he looks like because everyone's used to the mask. Yeah. If Slash walked around without sunglasses and without the top hat, I, I would recognize him. Um, but I think a lot of people wouldn't recognize him because don't forget, there's the hair. And mm -hmm. that man still has a lot of hair. And, and, and I think that's probably the only way though. anybody would recognize him is because of the hair and that top hat. If he didn't wear that hat and he, if he like straightened his hair, put it in a ponytail or something, dude, no one would know who he was. Like, I no guess. Who he was. It's signature. Would, that's true, too. But how many times did you – like, look, I'm not a big Kiss fan, but I've ran to Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons a few times, and I know exactly what they look like. And this is before their show and – I don't know. Maybe I was with the lucky ones that recognize them without the face without the face paint on. But they did have the albums where, you know, they did they did take a bunch of photo shoots without their makeup on. So yeah, I guess that could be it as well. I guess but if, anyway, you're, 
if you're a diehard fan, you'd recognize him. If not, you're not going to. You know, this is true. If you're a big Slash fan, diehard music lover, this toy is for you. Go and pick it up at hottopic.com. Yes, I'm missing on the comments and everything. Uh, look at those Swifty, <laughs> like Nerf herd. What definitely the? Scruff, scruffy headed Nerf herders. We had definitely that cat. The scruffiness. That. There's no scruffiness. Yeah. I mean, that's me. I'm a little lazy. Uh, to J to uh, to J to answer Jabo, these are not done by McFarlane. But I was rec but I was stating that the previous tours that were done were done by McFarlane. Uh, I don't remember if he did do a slash action figure, but I think he did uh, back in the mid nine late nineties, early two thousands. I believe so because there's a Ted Nugent uh, uh, action figure by McFarlane Toys uh, oh. that dates back to that era as well too. Ted Nugent has an action figure. All right, that's cool. Shit. That's cool. Ted Nugent. But into the fun and everything, because everything has bro, because you love G.I. Joe's. When I mean G.I. Joe's, you love them Joe's. Cannot go wrong with G.I. Joe's. And you you got the most kick-ass, you know, villain that I think personally is on the the Cobra side in Baroness. Okay. I think she looks amazing. I'm a huge fan of Baroness. Um, okay. Always something about her. Fair, yeah. fair. So this is the uh, so these are the figures uh, via Hasbro.com, probably also through GameStop.com. Uh, these are by PCS Collectibles. These are mini statuettes. They're about the fifty dollars price range. Uh, they're cool look, little statues. So you get the Baroness for one, pretty cool. Mm. As you're saying before, you love the cosplayers that do, that do Baroness. <laughs> I, I uh, yes, a little. You, you also have the Destro just coming out. Yes, the the Baroness is pretty awesome. Right. And the nice thing about these is they're going to be pretty, uh, you know, low-key. Oh, good luck, Jabo, with that. Um, very, you know, with the details on them are absolutely insane, but they don't look like the old top, which I think is nice for a price point of $50 or less. Uh, and with the detail on them, they're not bad for $50. And they're, Are they like PVC, resin? What are they? Plastic. They 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 look plastic to PVC. If I don't remember the description hey, I, correct, they I, are PVC. I, I apologize. You have to mute me. I'm on. I gotta take a phone call from work. Oh, he's got to take a phone call from work. So he's uh, while he goes off for a quick hot minute, I'm gonna go through the toys. He'll probably jump back on right now. So this is the Baronet. Oh, no, not this. Uh, this is the Destro uh, by PCS Collectibles. Currently available on uh, HasbroPulse.com. Also, pre-order them on GameStop. If you don't know right now, they currently collect uh, currently have the Power Ranger sets. Uh, we'll get to those in a little bit. They have the White Ranger, the Green Ranger, and currently the Red Ranger. So go and get those as you can. Uh, we also have uh, Serpentor. Um Currently from the G.I. Joe set. Go and get yours. Uh, look at the awesome detail on the figure. And when I mean awesome detail, was it just PVC statue? P like, when you think of PVC statues, I'm not expecting this style of detail. When I mean this style of detail, there's another figure that we're going to get to that, uh, that PCS has done as well, too, which is super detailed. And... Um, and just just look at the character, like the fact that it has the snake, the head, uh, the cape. You also have the snake emblem, like on his belt, the right hand extending with looks like a cobra. Like, like when you want cobra, you want cobra. Um, pretty darn cool. My if if I can't say so myself, um. We're about to get in the next segment that we're to get to um, right now. I just want to make something like very clear, and that's Hasbro always having a thing of re-releasing certain figures. And I do have something that's just about to come up, and I don't know if I should show you the figure first, if I should show you the toy that was released several years ago, or should we go through the figures first, then we'll discuss a re-release. Well, actually, hold up. I have the toy right here. And this is the Miles Morales Gwen Stacy release that was done a few years ago with Into the Spider-Verse. And these were the cartoon, like, comic versions. 
what I mean cartoon comic versions is that they both came with different heads. Now the Gwen Stacy we're about to see from Hasbro Pulse from Hasbro's website um, is that they re-released the Gwen Stacy. I'd much like to try to show this without the damn glare so much. Now, if you look at detail, now I'll give them props. So the Miles Morales, the Miles Morales was definitely updated from what they previously have released, and which is head to no head, updating the head, updating, I guess, the suit altogether. But the Gwen Stacy was just is just a new head. It's like little to no effort whatsoever. We're about to start this right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is your into the spy your new version of Into the Spider Verse. Gwen Stacy. Go ahead, Michael. No, I, let them know. I, I actually like I know like you you're talking about the differences and the changes in it. And I get it. From the suit of it, it looks pretty much the same. The head looks different. It's the next part that you're gonna show, which is gonna be the major glaring difference that everyone's gonna notice between the two. I love the fact that you have Spider Ham involved in it, and literally he looks just like the the cartoon movie part. It just kind of bums me out that that first one that you had, where it's like, hey, we're gonna make the Marvel Legends, uh, well, the series, but we're gonna use the comic book, not the cartoon movie, and then right. we're gonna update them but make them individually so we can charge more money for every one of them. This was the in in our way, this was the promo to the movie, um. Which was great. I mean, look, like if you if you have this in your collection, kudos to you. If you don't, I can see Marvel also. I can see Hasbro re-releasing this with an updated version. If you have it, great. Uh, if you want this, I don't know. Maybe I should get rid of it. I don't know since they updated both characters. But this is the but this is the comic book version. This is the comic book head. Mm -hmm. uh, the same suit, you know, just updated. You know, Gwen Stacy has her Spider-Man hand, you know. But and the funny the, thing is you're looking at the box and you're holding it in your hand. And it says on the front of it, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. And it's yeah. got Gwen Stacy from the cartoon, from the, well, the cartoon TV series and or the comic book series, not from the movie. It's like, guys, you didn't even do it right. Don't you love it? <laughs> we have, we have nice little descriptions for you guys. So like some examples, um, so yeah, we got the Gwen Stacy. I mean, look. And I get there it. it is. There it is. Same. Look, I could just take this. I mean. I love look, the fact that you... she's actually wearing ballet shoes. I never noticed that before. Mine has the ballet oh. shoes too. And the same color, blue. Yeah. I never noticed that she was wearing ballet shoes. That's kind of neat. All right. Yeah. I, I, I remember. Uh, yeah. she's uh, She takes ballet classes. And this is part, part of the new uh, Build-A-Figure called Stilts. And this is where it I kind of blew me off. Well, not blew me off a little bit, but I kind of got a little taken by it. Could this be a teaser to Into the Spider-Verse 2 with a villain? Or they just have this character out? I think because, it could be like maybe one of those minor villains that's in the movie. Like they battle him in the beginning or something. It's kind of like one of those like, hey, we're all together again. Let's go battle this villain. Like he's not the main villain guy. You know? Right. You also have the second release, which is the car. Like I've done Prowler, I've shown you guys before where I've released Prowler, um, where it comes to Spider Man's ultimate, his alternate dimension, everything. And this came from him as well, too. But this is the Prowler from Spider Man. It's into the Spider Verse. I'm surprised he doesn't come with his alternate head. Yeah, that would be nice. Surprised he doesn't come with his, with the, um, because at one point he does take the mask off to show. To, to to show um Miles Morales that hey I'm your uncle. Yeah. Look what you did to me. Um I do like this piece though. I, I do enjoy I, I like it. Kind of I like it because like, of the detail. Yeah the detail on it is really good from the gloves the way they have on it. it. It they did a really good job. The only downfall to it is it reminds me of the face there reminds me of like a Deadpool slash Spider Man style with the face, the eyes and stuff like that. It definitely okay. has that feel to it. There you go. He also comes. He comes with a brief. He comes with his briefcase, the arm attachment to go to stilts, and then he also has an extra attachment for his hand. Or is that for stilts? See, I, this one kind of confuses me right there. But I think yeah, that's for right? stilts. But it's like if that's his hand. Okay, so he has like three fists. Like he doesn't have one with an open hand pose. It's kind of strange. I don't know exactly. 
we'll cool. find out when the toy gets released exactly which attachment. Because look, when you see it, same exact thing with the box. Yeah, that's very strange. Do, now on the back picture, is there a back some uh, image of it that shows? Yeah, they never show. Well, that. does it point to him, and then it points right. to what he would have? So he's number four. Four. So, so number he four, has the right. He arm. has an open hand. So there's a closed fist version, but then meanwhile, look, the guy's like this big with legs this big. I mean, <laughs> is he really gonna fight? Is, is he really gonna punch you? <laughs> He's gonna kick you with his long stilted legs. Is he gonna do Not all that? Here. Anyway, well, as we we're talking about before, this is the new Miles Morales figure coming out, and this is completely different from the previous one. What I mean, he doesn't have the sneakers for my previous figure. There, the webbing on the suit isn't detailed, and yes, he does have the jacket. But by the looks of it, it looks like this jacket comes off. <laughs> if you take yeah. out his arms, this jacket comes off. You think it might be more of like a cloth style versus a hard plastic? No, I think this is this is like the hard plastic kind of thing. It's not like it's like it's like the loose plastic, almost yeah. like the cape that they had before. Yeah, 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 yeah. cape similar to yeah. this. I guess loose, cool but not too backwards. loose. But it's still cool. People don't complain. Nike is not on the sneakers. <laughs> you know, be. this kind of looks like the Adidas anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know, I do like the difference between the two from this and the one that was on the box art that you have. Because this one does look more like the video, like the cartoon movie, the kid version. That one looks more like Peter Parker Spider-Man. Like you can tell like he's a little bit more beefy. He's got, you know, like more of a defined costume look. This one has the fit of the actual like, hey, I'm like a 15 year old kid and I'm playing Spider-Man. That one looks like he's an older Spider-Man, like he's more um, in his role. Can we change the face, though? Right there. A fail right there. What does it look like? The body doesn't match the head. No, no, it does not. No, it does this have a face weird looks like he's look 12 years old. Yeah. That face looks like he's a like, like he's in a 16, 17 year old body. He's got a 12 year old head. I guess uh, you know puberty hasn't hit him yet in the Spider Verse. I mean, I mean they they do talk about puberty and and throughout the whole entire movie, so yeah, right? My hormones, <laughs> my hormones. It's puberty. It's kicking in. Why am I talking so loud? <laughs> anyway, there it is. More of stilts, more of Spider Man. And look, if you're a huge Spider Man fan, pre order these right now. Go on um, HasbroPulse dot com. Uh, go to your local GameStop. Uh, and funny thing is, why is GameStop getting all these crazy orders? Like, if you miss something on Pulse, if you miss something on Hasbro's oh, website, awesome. it's like GameStop's your number two location. And here's, well, we'll get to that in a second of like three action figures or four that are currently sold out that you could probably get. Not but, too. Do you know why? What why is toy that? company that is no longer around? Toys R Us. Yeah. So Toys R Us is down. GameStop has like 6,000 storefronts, plus a website, Think Geeks, things like that. And they're not Entertainment Earth that only has like one location, which is San Diego yep. Comic-Con every year, and they upcharge an extra $15. Anyway, if you, anyone's ever um, uh, if anyone's ever paid attention to this, on Entertainment Earth's website, if you keep buying and their stock goes down, their last action figure is $150 to $100 on purpose. Their last figure, if you ever notice on Entertainment Earth, if they have a, if their stock doesn't go, if their stock isn't done within a few weeks and they have extra toys left, their last figure usually ends at $50 to $100. Go back on the website, which they have a lot of um, leftover inventory, and they will purposely sell you. When I mean purposely sell you, the Power Morphers that they've had over and over again, they had their stock at like 60 bucks. And on their last figure, or the last time they had it, it was $150 for their morpher. And they have their regular stock. So be I weary of where you buy it. Way overpriced. Yeah. And a lot of their items. On purpose, those SOBs. Yeah. Anyway, we have your favorite. Uh, Every easy popular, cosplayer. Man. If you're a cosplayer, this is by far the easiest cosplay you can do. What I mean... You can get your Spider-Man t-shirt on, like legit Spider-Man like t-shirt that you can get at like any t-shirt shop known to man. Um these are Carlos complaining about Entertainment Earth. Yeah. Um 
sorry, so just have to get those out of the way. Um, this is like the quick, quick and easy thing. You don't have to wear the masks though. Like, he, like no. Peter B. Parker throughout the whole entire movie isn't wearing the mask on his head like this. So nope. I can under, I don't know why he's wearing his his mask as a beanie, which he shouldn't be. Uh, I mean, number two, in the in the whole movie, he's walking around like this too, walking around, no nothing hiding his like secret identity, and no one says a word about it. Uh, how about this? The he. There's there's already three fails on this figure already. Can you name the three? Uh, well, the beanie would be one. Right. Two, the he doesn't look like one. he's. Two, he doesn't look like he's got enough scruff on his face. So he's way too clean cut, clean shaven. All right then. All right. So you're, you're gonna figure. Okay. So that's two. Uh, what else? There's another thing. The suit doesn't look right. No, the suit's right. It's just an overcoat, trench coat with a spider suit. Half the time he's wearing, he's not wearing his spider gloves. So he doesn't have a spider yeah, gloves. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't have the gloves on at all. The figure yeah. is that throughout the whole entire cartoon series, he's barefoot. He's wearing shoes. Remember, oh, no, no. during the in, the in in the in the movie, he was wearing shoes. He did have shoes on. And then when he went to when they went to check out the scientist lab, that's when he put the mask on. That's where he kicked off the shoes and the jacket. Before, right. Right when they got off the bus. So he did have that boot on and a shoe. Did he? I don't remember. Yeah. I remember him being barefoot with the whole entire. Sh I remember nope. him being barefoot. Nope, he had that. He had those nope. on. Okay, fair, fair, fair. I can boot right. similar to it at uh, Savers. So, your favorite. Everyone, get your McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King cups ready for this year's cosplay. I expect everyone who wants to schlep as Spider Man to schlep as Spider. -Man. Just think, guys, when you're at a convention, those cups make wonderful holders for alcohol. I mean, water. Oh, no, water. they don't. They don't make wonderful cups for alcohol because those are wax. And alcohol eats wax. So <laughs> those cups only last an hour and a half, too. So you got one purpose use for it. If only Solo Drink cups quickly. were smart and have a lid. <laughs> if only Solo was smart. Oh, wait, Solo is smart. So every time you go get a Starbucks cup, ladies and gentlemen, which are made by Solo, they have lids. <laughs> you could take those lids and use them on your main red Solo cups. I didn't right. give you that pointer. Uh, <laughs> So we get your Spider B Jordan, uh, uh, Peter B. <laughs> Spider B Why Jordan. Like what? Is it? You combine Michael B Jordan and Spider Man? No, oh, because if you're thinking about if you're thinking about the Spider Man, Peter Parker is the Michael Jordan of of Marvel Comics in a way. Mm -hmm. You can't talk about Marvel Comics without talking about Spider Man, and it's almost like talking about basketball. You can't talk about basketball without talking about Michael Jordan. So I'm sorry. So you have Michael Jordan in the brain. Um, maybe because uh, I'm, I'm waiting for the Enter Bay Michael so, Jordan yeah. figure coming. And there he has his regular hands without the gloves on, which does make better sense. Yes. I prefer this version. I prefer this version of him, but I wish mm -hmm. they made an extra attachment of feet and no feet. Yeah. Almost like he has I, the socks on. Right. I don't know. It's up to collectors. I mean, look, this is... If you love the if you love the movie and you're waiting for uh, Enter the Spider Verse two to come out, yes, don't hesitate. Jump on it now because once Enter the Sp when when Spider Verse two comes out, you know for a fact these are like forty fifty bucks. Oh, they're gonna go up in price real quick. There's no doubt about that. There's a lovely box art. There's the back of the box art. Don't be fooled, guys. Get your pre orders out of the way. Get them out now. Do not wait. Also into that uh, Stilts character list is Frogman. Now, Frogman, I have no idea where he came from. I li know little. I know little of him. I'm not very big on Frogman. I couldn't really tell you. I thought this was the frog from Star Wars: The Mandalorian, the last episode. So, I, I don't know, man. You know, <laughs> pretty much. I, you pretty much could put a trench coat on him, and it's and it's the frog man and frog lady um, right? from chapter well uh, episode episode four, chapter eleven, <laughs> episode three, so three. episode three, chapter three, season two, chapter three, whatever. You know? So you got Frogman and everything. Yes, the backstory in the back doesn't make sense to me as well too. So I have to go back and looking to realize. Uh, where Frogman is, or when this figure does come out, and I do the build a figure for you guys, I'll let you know all about Frogman and where he resides from and what he does, and blah blah blah. blah. That would be out of the hand, or not like the hand, uh, aim something like that, like that costume in a way. It looks like it was an aim villain or something. He also looks like someone from uh, Hydra, 
Yeah, he looks yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of the Hydra villains. Yes. Um, in yes. a frog suit. Yeah. Uh, we also have this we figure to me interesting is Hand Ninja, and if you get enough minions, you pretty much have enough villains for your Electra and Daredevil figure sets. I mean, that's what this reminds me of. This looks like oh. this can go directly into him fighting Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, him fighting Daredevil, him fighting Elektra, any one ninja-based characters, or not Fing Fang Foon. Um, what is it? Uh, the Shen movie coming out as well, too. Oh, Shang Tsung in the Ten uh, something, I think it was. Or that's Mandalorian. <laughs> Shang Tsung. Mach- 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 two is uh, the new one that they're coming out with, I thought, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Something like that. And... Yeah. Yeah, as I said, the back looks like this. The red, the red, the hand ninja looks like the red ninja from Cobra, like the GI Joe line too. But he also looks like the red ninjas that faced Daredevil at, in one of the series. Yep, that's what he looks looks like too. And it's also a with very their weird pa- one, yeah, with their powers combined, they build Stilt Man. <laughs> I don't know where Stilt Man comes from and what he does. All I know is stilts. I mean. I just picture uh, what's his face. Uh, there's a comedian I, I like listen to, Stephen Lynch, and he's like he does a superhero song. He's like pick a stu- superhero name, and he's like the most underrated, dumbest supervillain known to man, Stilt Man. Right, but somehow you love it. <laughs> you gotta have it. I mean, look, I'm I'm not too fond of building him because guess what? He doesn't fit in a Ziploc bag that I need to. <laughs> Well, um, it's and he, like this is the villain that they do instead of somebody else. Yeah, but they couldn't do the updated version of this one. I mean, look, if the fact that you want DV, the fact that you had DV in in the storyline and you had him as a build a figure from the comic book version, and you couldn't do a build a figure set, yeah. you were two <laughs> figures away of not adding Black Noir or adding Aunt May. Even the cartoon version of Aunt May. Or build a figure of their version, which is bigger than Kingpin. Which, my God, if they did Kingpin, he'd be a box on his own. But but think about it. They used Frogman and they used the Red Hand, Red Ninja. You mean to tell me Dark uh, Spider Man Noir? You couldn't have used. Could have used Aunt May. You could have went with even the uh, the Spider Bot that she has, and she goes inside it. That would have been a nice one to do for a piece. I think female Doc Ock would have been so much better choice because. Oh my god! Uh, definitely yes. You could have female Doc Ock. You also had uh, was it the the stone guy? What's his name? Uh, oh my god! I can't think of his name for life. I mean, not gargoyle. Um, tombstone. tombstone. You had tombstone. You couldn't have put that guy in there. At least if you're going with the Enter the Spider Verse cartoon series, use those characters instead. Let's throw two that no one knows nope. what the heck they're from. Nope. We're just gonna throw those in, guys. <laughs> Yep. Heck, Doc, female Doc Ock would have been a perfect one even for a build a figure. Yeah. You know? Would have been per- you would think it'd be perfect for a build a figure. Two, but- two of the legs, two of the legs, and another one. You got the body, the torso, the regular legs, the two arms, and the head. You're golden. Instead, we get Stilt Man, the most useless villain known to man. At least Spider Ham on his own with the rest of the tentacles. Yes. For, for Doc Ock. Into that set, and just because you get a little spider ham figure, <laughs> oh my god, it would have been amazing. And just imagine the box art to go with it: little spider ham, little tentacles coming around, little spider oh. ham, little tentacles coming around. That would have been the most epic. That would have been a good choice for me for for toy designing. What up, my Mia? And then you know those these things you could have done. You know him at his own. You give him the hammer that he has where he whacks scorpion. Uh, later in yes. the thing, and then do something like where he's got paper at towels. The these... At the anvil, at yeah, the anvil. Remember during the last scene, he has yep. the anvil, and they make they make a war they make a Warner Brothers pun not once but twice. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that. We might be sued. You know, like come right. on, you could do that. Like use that. Nope. Do animals talk in this universe? <laughs> right. Uh, I don't want to freak thing. you guys out, but. <laughs> And another toy re-release, but extend came with extra accessories. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. The re-release of Thanos, which is currently sold out. Now you go to GameStop.com to go get it. Um, <laughs> we're talking about the Marvel Legends figures, bro. Uh, you we're you talking missed about- that on the uh, uh, Enter the Spider-Verse, uh, Spider-Man, you know, stuff like that. 
just go back. Just go back on Twitch. Go back on YouTube. Go back on Facebook later. When we get to the Marvel Legends uh, section, you'll see the actual discussion of why some of them were hits, some of them were misses in our opinion, and uh, one of us is disappointed, especially me, that you got to see a second re-release, maybe a, technically a third release of Gwen Stacy, but uh, Spider-Gwen, technically. Uh, yeah. But the, as far as the Thanos figure is concerned, so this is their third release of Thanos. When I mean their third release of Thanos, Thanos was a Build-A-Figure. This version right here was a Build-A-Figure. Then later down the line, he became a Walmart exclusive as an individual figure. Mm -hmm. Now we see him again, this time with his King Thanos head. And this time with full gauntlet in hand. In the previous one, you didn't have, I think in one of them did have a full gauntlet. But this time you have the snap. The other figures were exactly the same. Same head. Um, one of the heads is just like this, but the other one has a sl uh, slimmer face, like basically doesn't smile. Yet again, it's all about the accessories. What the hell are the Thanos accessories? Well, the Thanos accessories, this time you can add the snap to it. So yeah. you could have movie version Thanos versus comic book version Thanos. It's all about the snap, ladies and gentlemen. The only, the only downfall I have with it, I love the piece. I love the figure. I, I love the, the, the two-hand exercise. It's the head there for me, the one with the, the crown on it. It, it kind of reminds me of like King Grodd. Okay. You know? With the face and everything and beard and it's going down and stuff like that. It just and now that I look at it, it, it does remind me that. I like the helmet. I I mean he has a crown on it away per se. It definitely looks cool. Um I mean feeling doubtful, like I said, I think it just kind of reminds me of you know King Grodd or something from the Flash. It does. But in in, in any way, shape, or form, yes, yeah, sadly enough, Hasbro has this sold out for now, which we all know in two to three weeks there's always a re-release. So if you ever see something sold out in those pre-orders, go to those websites and check almost every single day. And they've been saying like by four or five o'clock is the best time to go check it out. And anytime you see a new toy release, go back. There's usually something else that's been up that you haven't paid attention to. So the one nice thing scared. about this though, if you've ever had the original comic, that looks just like him on the cover of that original comic. No, it doesn't remind the video game. Yes superheroes video game that was released for Super Nintendo and you pay for the arcade. That's the box art of it. Yes. And you also have the original box art of the comic book, mm -hmm. which I love. So this is, a, and, and, and for me, this is a two-in-one. If you also love the video games, you're going to get this. If you love the original comic books and you love the Infinity War saga that they, they had, this is the Thanos that you want. This is the Thanos you really need to have in your collection. This is Thanos. I need to have it back in my collection, even though now I probably have three. <laughs> hey, you know, why not? Add another one to the Barbie. But I'm still waiting for Hasbro to release the Lady Death, while Diamond has already le released Thanos with Lady Death. It's weird that they have not done that yet. I don't know why. That's an opportunity, because yeah. you don't see many Lady Death uh, like figures. No, That would be a don't... rarity for it, so it would definitely be something that would be sought after and highly, you know, are none. Okay. There's not a single Lady Death one unless you bought the Thanos sort of mini two pack. We'll say in a way. So every time you bought him in the di the the Diamond Selection version, you had Lady Death attached to him. And they need a throne. They need to release a throne to him. I ordered a throne, and, and Thanos doesn't fit in that throne of skulls. <laughs> uh, yeah, I ordered a throne. <clears throat> it was like twenty dollars. I ordered a throne. It was on Amazon, and it said it fits most action figures. And of course, take it out of the bag, everything, blah, blah, blah. Put an action figure in there, none of it fits. Put movie version Thanos in it, doesn't fit. I'm like, what the heck? Like, what are they selling me on? A, a throne that everyone a can throne. stand next to and not yes. actually sit on it. <laughs> what do you want? You um, and enjoy it? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, previous before, we were talking about the uh, PCS collectible statues. Uh, as I said before, the White Ranger, the Green Ranger, and the Red Ranger Power Rangers. Yes, we're going for the Power Rangers segment for this now. Um, you can find them at GameStop.com. Uh, no, Jabo, this wasn't on that wasn't on Wish. That was on Amazon. Those toy that toy was on Amazon. All right. I think he's so, talking about the uh, the th the throne you bought. Game of Thrones thrones from Wish.com, which were legitimately the Game of Thrones thrones. <laughs> so on wish.com they were 10 bucks 
on Amazon everywhere else for 40 bucks and they were exactly the same and they were in perfect condition and everything. So I got lucky on that. Anyway, back to Power Rangers. As I said before, the green, red, and white Rangers are currently out at GameStop.com or at any GameStop available. You'll see them displayed. They're really cool. I feel like the first editions that they did aren't that great. But I feel like now with, with, with PCS, I feel like they've done a little better than their previous toys. When I mean they've done, when they've done better, when I mean now their coin stand has more detail. Mm-hmm. I, the figure looks like he's wearing a cloth material. He looks more finely detailed. I mean, I like this Black Ranger better than I've seen the Green and the Red Ranger. And honestly, the nice thing about it is, t- tell me it does not look like it's popping out to you, like 3D style. Like you could look at it and it would like come to life at you. This looks a lot better. Yeah. Like I-, I feel like the next time we do this or next week, I'll get the White Ranger, I'll get the Red Ranger, and I'll get the uh, Green Ranger. And we'll put the Black Ranger last like we normally do. And we'll, we'll-, we'll everyone decide what do you like better. Mm-hmm. And to me, I like Black Ranger. I wish, I wish they updated him and had him with the Red, with the, with the gold shield, but that's only the Japanese version. Mm-hmm. A lot of people didn't know that that the the only time the gold, the red, the black ranger had the shield on was during the Japanese version, and Hasbro was nice enough to release that version for us. Hmm. Yay! Never came, never happened in the comic, never happened in the uh, in the TV series, but did happen in the uh, the in the Japanese version, and we got to see it in toys. But this is the Black Ranger. But this is my favorite now that that just came out, and this is something I would buy. And I'm not a villains fan. No. But this Goldar is blowing my mind on the details. Look at the the base, the stand for it, the detail on it, how much it looks like it pops right out at you. Like the st- I want this from a stand alone. Forget anything yeah. else. Look at the intricate details. I mean, compared to regular Rangers, when you get the the ones in the suit. Goldar is remember, he he has curves, he has indents, he's got scales, he's got feathers, he's got wings, he's got a sword, he's got sharp pointy areas as well, too. Yes, this Goldar is amazing. Oh yeah. And like we all know my not super huge fandom of Power Rangers, but this one is something that's like, wow, if you're a Power Ranger fan, even a casual fan. You need this for your collection. It is the detail. I mean, just look at this from alone, from the side. Like you said, the the armor, the way they have the scales on it, the feathers, the fur around his neck, the the legs, the way the the, the coin is in a way, the sword. Come on, it looks like the sort of omens in a way. Like so look at that. That it really does. Like they did a fantastic job with this. Look, look at, at that. the detail. This nuts. And this is just a $50 statuette that you have. This is just a $50 statuette. So they've made this reasonably priced, a little bit more than your action figures, but a little bit cheaper than what you buy a statue collectibles. So not a bad thing to grab. I don't know, guys. That's up to you. No. And the detail, it, it, it's, it's good. The detail on it is really good. Yes. So uh, next up on our list, guys, which we all know you guys love, is nothing but Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Yes, from the Hasbro collection. Uh, three out of these four figures are currently sold out on, on Hasbro's website. But yet again, I say it over and over again, GameStop has it available on pre-order. So if you've missed out, go to GameStop's website and don't wait. Like I usually wait. Or go to Target's website. Jump on those pre-orders. Mm-hmm. And get them in your hands by, I believe some of these will have be available by two or three weeks from now. Uh, give or take, I believe you are right with that. I think it's usually about a month or so afterwards that they'll show up in GameStops, you know, Hot Topics, you know, stuff like that. So you, know, you, you might get them first, but guess what? You can always get them later, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. We have Ventress. Asage Ventress. This is going to be such a nice piece to add to any collection. Uh, she is a Sith Lord in a way, per se. You know, trained by Lord Tyrannus. Like, absolutely amazing. The detail on that is insane. I love the fact that it looks like she has a cloth, uh, like, you know, skirt type deal and stuff like that. The, the dress robes that she's wearing. Uh, definitely really nice piece. The double-sated sabers with the, the curve, 
saber uh, hilts on them. Absolutely incredible. And if you are doing your collection for the Clone Wars series, this is a must-have, especially because mm -hmm. you got to finish that box art. Yep. It's all about that box. Do you feel like nowadays it's not even about the figure anymore? It's all about the box art? I think a lot of people are looking at that because they have redone it. Uh, for someone like me who's never gotten into the Black Series pieces, I collected the Rebel series because of the box art. I absolutely loved it. The way it looked and the combining. I wish they stuck a little closer together so it looks like one seamless. But I have it set up in like uh, on a shelf in my room. And I absolutely right. love the look of it. And I've been collecting some of the pieces slowly here and there. This one will have to be done with the Clone Wars. Got to get this one. Got to get, you know, Cody. Uh, you got to get, um, what else is going to be? Ahsoka. These are must-haves, no doubt. Speaking of more, the next figures I'm about to show you guys are completely sold out on their website. But doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. This is uh, Griff Carr. <laughs> I mean, you you were not just, 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 we were just talking about this before. This is the worst mold we've seen for his head. Mm -hmm. As much I, as we look, yeah, go ahead. I, I'm like, I, I obviously we know who this character is. It's Carl Weathers on the new Mandalorian series. But tell me, that does not look like Carl Weathers. That face mold that they did is horrible. He looks like he's got a droop on his, you know, right eye. Just does not look good at all. Um, not a very good face uh, mold on it. They could have done better, I think, with this. With the technology that we have where we can make a mold look almost real, they did a poor job on this one. We could have done better. Yeah. I mean, look, I I'll take the Apollo Creed head and put it on <laughs> him later. <laughs> I think some people might. <laughs> I mean, NECA did a better job with the Apollo Creed, but... I mean, I right mean... there, it kind of looks a little bit from a side angle, but you're looking straight on. Dude, Not not good. Not yeah. good. That does not look right at all. And maybe it's because of the angle, but I just don't think it looks right. His face looks too fat. It, the cheeks, the the jawbone, not a great look on that. Overall, the piece cheeks. is good. I feel like it's the cheeks. I feel like it's the yeah, cheeks. It, if you turn them down a bit, I think yeah. he'd look like what's he he'd look like his character. He's gobbling some nuts here or something. What's he doing? Like you know, What's hoarding holding something? it for winter? He's, ho he's hoarding for winter. I guess. I mean, overall, other than that, the, the overall piece of it, it does look good. And the reason why I say it looks bad is, like, you look at that piece and you look at the side art. Like, But if you look at the box art, if you look at him in the box, he looks better in the box. Yeah. But he look looks at better. His, look at the side head there. Like, that doesn't look that good. Right. The box art doesn't match the face. Like, this one looks, yeah, this looks like Apollo Creed back in the day. Yeah. This looks like you're just about to get Apollo Creed. <laughs> someone, someone, give me a, the he head of Chubbs from uh, Happy Gilmore and put it on. Let's go. Call it a day. It's all in the hips. It's, it's all, all in the hips. hips. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that movie. I'm surprised that they haven't gone a uh, gone a wall with all the Adam Sandler movies and created like their own like, like, you know, Happy Gilmore kind of like uh, action figures. Oh, please. I hope not. Like, I can't. So you have... I can't even pronounce his name without messing it up. Uh, Quill? Kill? Cool? Kill? Call? Quill. Oh. I'm calling Quill. Yeah. It's Quill. Uh, I mean, as you always like to say, I have spoken. <laughs> I have it spoken. is done. It is done. I have spoken. It is done. <laughs> I mean, you have to have him. I mean, look, if, especially if, if you loved season one, he was your lovable character of season one. Besides Baby Yoda. Or the Besides child. Baby Yoda. Yes. What? Great detail on him, too. Like, overall, from the way the, the, way this, the, the scarf is on the neck to the gun, the gauntlets on his arms, I, I think they did a great job, even with the helmet, the old school goggles on it. They did a really good job with this one. This was a good mold. This was a good piece. Uh, I do like it a lot. This looks really nice. Uh, Jabo says he was voiced by Nick Nolte. He was. It was uh, the voice awesome. of Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte did the voice of this. And uh, the person that was in the, in the, the costume for this is actually the frog lady from the last two episodes, uh, last three episodes of season two. She was <laughs> the, she's the mocap style uh, character from this. So she does all the smaller characters in the, the shows. And then nice. Nick Nolte did the voice. 
Nice. Yep. Because at first only... I remember watching the first episode and I heard the voice. I'm like, I know that voice. Why do I know that voice? And I had to look it up and I was like, ah, oh, Nick Nolte. Okay. Now, if only Nick Nolte took his head off and knocked okay. him. <laughs> right? <laughs> he could have been nominated for an Emmy, but that's a different story. Anyway, <laughs> you have <laughs> you have Quill. Uh, I have spoken. This is the way. You also have Moff Gideon. Dude, what can you say about Moth Gideon? I mean, this is from the Black Series. Uh, not too long ago, we did show the vintage, and we showed a different figure as well, too. Now we get the Black Series version. I mean, he looks like he belongs at Breaking Bad right now. That face. I mean, not again, not too not too happy, but I'm okay with the face, face mold of this. I almost, feel like, I almost feel like, in a way, you could just put Darth Vader's helmet on this and... It's like really? Darth Vader 2.0 in a way, you know, are, that, are they what that what they're going with here? It's like he's supposed to be the next Vader, the costume, the look of it. Obviously, it looks like he's got the chest plate from one of the uh, uh, troopers, um, you know, just the way the look of it, the the cape. I, I think they did a great job. It kind of looks like they did. Uh, what's his name there? Uh, uh, Tarkin. Uh, Tarkin with. Oh God! What's the other guy's name? Admiral Thrawn. A yeah. combo of the two, but made it like Vader esque. But, but yet again, I'm got... not. I'm not a fan of the facial mold, dude. The like he Vader. looks like he looks older than what he is in, in as a character. Yeah, he does. I mean, this man, Gene Carlo, you know, Esposito. This dude is box off his gold right now. He's on the boys. He's on this. He's going to be in Far Cry Six for a video game. Like, this dude can do no wrong. He's been linked to possibly be Magneto, like, other characters. Like, seriously, bro, get Sorry, your money. If, if, they, if they put him in as Magneto, there's a lot of explanation again, which they have... Mar I mean, Marvel has a really bad time with explaining things. Yeah. That's the only one problem that I have is, like, Marvel is great with their movies, but they're really bad at, at explaining certain characters, where they belong, where they came from first, how they came to be. If they have him play Magneto, which I... It's, still a great move you have to kill scarlet witch in order to reintroduce his kids well not only that i mean we're gonna also like if they did introduce him as uh magneto magneto was persecuted by the germans as a nazi uh, as a jewish person i don't yeah. see him being somebody like that so are they going to change it and do that stuff i don't know i don't want to get involved in that that's not my say i just hope it's a good storyline if they do make him I, I mean, if they, if they make him, they make him older and make him right. older as Apocalypse. <laughs> make him as old as Apocalypse, we'll say. Right. Or make him as old as Wolverine. Yeah. You could, you could probably make him Magneto as, as old as Wolverine, which yet again probably makes no sense again either. <laughs> uh, I just Somehow think, Marvel, yeah. I was going to say, he has the dark saber, so I'm good. Like, that's a necessity. That's a requirement to have. That's an action. Yeah. This is an action figure to have as well too, especially if you're gonna have him. But do the box art. The box art doesn't do the face justice. Nope. That box art is awesome though. Oh, they did a fantastic job. They knocked it out of the park. Like I said, that's the main reason I'm buying some of these figures. It's artwork, you know. Yet again, guys, gotta support the artist. Gotta support. I mean, I know some of the artists. I know the. I know one of the artists that does it for the uh, Marvel Legends figures. Maybe one day we'll get him. He's from New Jersey. Maybe we'll get him on to talk about all about his artwork that he's done for Marvel Legends. I mean, maybe he can explain to us why some of them are terrible, why the box art doesn't match the figure. Mm. Uh, but I know for a fact he is the artist behind the artwork for those figures, for the box art. Um, another toy that just got released not too long ago that is a Target exclusive. Right now it's a Target exclusive. And after November, November 21st, November, some, sometime after November, it'll be a Hasbro Pulse and a GameStop exclusive after that. And this is their, this is the Transformer crossover. Now, recently we saw them do the DeLorean version. We've seen them do um, Ghostbusters. Now they've done our 90, now they're really messing into our 90s childhood now. And that is the X-Wing Jet. Yes. So this is currently out at Target. Go and pre-order right now on Target.com. This is Hasbro's X-Wing Jet from the X-Men cartoon series. The, which I think is 
the which only, is great. The only problem I have with this is look at this. Tell me it does not look like Jetfire from the last Michael Bay uh, Transformers movie. This with Jetfire uh, from LaBeouf. This looks yeah. like Jetfire. Yeah. You know? So to answer Jabo, Jabo, yes, the Blackbird is also the name. They also called it the X-Wing Jet later down the line as well, too. Yep. So later down in season two and see after season three, it was renamed after, away from the Blackbird because they want to get away from the military name and copyright infringement from the U.S. government because it technically is the Blackbird that exists in museums. Yes, uh, Gates, uh, garbage. Stop making cro garbage crossovers. Well, Eric, they don't really make garbage crossovers. I mean, look, are you? Did you buy the DeLorean? Did you buy the Ghostbusters version? I did. I bought both. I have two of each. <sighs> oh, Reggie says apparently Reggie didn't like this one either. Yeah. But I don't know, man. This, this is, um, you know, this is, in my opinion, it's got the Wolverine, Cyclops, Psylocke version in one. Uh, if you don't know exactly who we're talking about. The right arm is definitely the spear staff of Psylocke. The face mask, the visor is Cyclops. And his, you know, the Blackbird's left hand, the X-Wing jet, is Wolverine. And the chest plate is 100% is 100% uh, uh, Cyclops. Uh, everyone's just complaining about how bad this looks. I mean, look, it's up to you guys, man. You get it or not. Also comes with cute. It comes with two little cute action figures, which is called Wolverine and Sabretooth, which I have no idea why Sabretooth would be involved in this release of the set, or maybe they just brought it out just to show how big the figure is, or whatnot. Because these are mini. These are little mini statues. Sorry, Eric can't put up your comment because it's cursing. So uh, maybe you can rewrite that without saying the sh word. As far as the details on this, I like the details on this. As uh, you had to walk away for a hot minute, um, I do like the details on this only because this is this is Transformers and X Men. This is Hasbro's crazy, lovely combo of the two. Like you can't get you can get better than this, but you can't get any better. I mean, look if you like like which one of you liked the DeLorean and the Ghostbusters version instead of this one? I mean, granted, the Ghostbusters one comes with the proton pack. When it comes out, it does have the proton pack, um, and and with the DeLorean, it does come with a chest plate. Uh, Eric says, "Maverick is crappy." Sorry, sir. Optimus is still the best. All right, so we'll say that. As Michael has decided to, Burgie has decided to join us back. Sorry, everyone. Needs I like how it gives me like no. <laughs> yeah, I, I love how it's during the show, as if they don't know that at eight o'clock, eight o'clock to about ten o'clock. Don't bother the man. <laughs> Go on his Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. Go on people's Facebook and see what they're up to first before you call them. Because right? somehow down the line, there's always a there is always a distress signal. Some friend always puts a distress signal up. Or does so where have you seen me? Where have we first met? We'll get to that story too. <laughs> and we're talking about Optimus. Uh, yeah. And then I, we have I, the I, classic Optimus. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna blow you up right there, bro. Oh sorry. I didn't I didn't actually pay that, but I found the <laughs> you know. Uh, 2018 re remaster for it. Yes. So, you know, can't beat it. I love the fact that it's all original, you know, with the artwork and stuff and the way they have it. It's absolutely fantastic. Right. Like, I love this stuff. Like, is that, that, the, is that the box art where, where you need 3D glasses to, like, yes. figure out what it says in the back? Yeah, yeah, for over here with that, for the 3D glasses and stuff. I wish I had the 3D glasses. But you can actually see where his, like, the blue lines, you can see where they are, you know, kind of somewhat through it. So, I remember having these as a kid with the the 3D glasses always checking them to see what, you know, Optimus and all the other figures and what they had for their power levels and different stuff, you right. know. And to answer Eric's question, if you haven't gotten your Optimus, go on GameStop's website and then go on Hasbro's website. They are re-released. So this is their third re-release of the Ghostbusters Optimus action figure. Hasbro Pulse still has them at $40. I don't know if GameStop still has it. For Hasbro Pulse, Yet again, ladies and gentlemen, has re-released it on their website. If you're not paying attention, go on the website right now, pick pick one up for yourself, and don't wait. Because you know, sooner or later, it'll be like the DeLorean. It's gone. The one thing I'd like to see them do, too, with them doing remasters and try to do crossovers and stuff like that, where's the 18 van? Why do we not Ooh. have the 18 van? Why do we ha not have Knight Rider? 
Why do we oh. not have like honestly to the truth? I'd love to see Herbie the Love Bug. That's Bumblebee. Come on, give me that. The Scooby Doo van. Like these That's are Warner iconic Brothers. Cars. So Hasbro. Yeah, but Hasbro has their current Marvel Disney deal, sort of now Marvel deal, we'll say. They have to go to Warner Brothers to get the other stuff. And especially I would I would agree with Jay with, with yeah, Jay with this one. I'd love to see Airwolf. Yeah. Um I, I was a huge Airwolf fan. I wanted just the helmet alone. That yeah. Airwolf helmet is something I've always wanted. Come on, like they, like I would love to see Kit. I would love to see Car from the Knight Rider series. I'd love to see the A Team van. You know, you give me those Herbie the Love Bug. That's you I know, feel Bumblebee. like A Team was done a few years ago. Was an A Team van done? I don't remember. If they are, I need to find it. Like A Team one was done, and that was about, their first release was how before about DeLorean. How about Dukes of uh, dude? Come on, like these see, are iconic that- vehicles. So you have to go through you have to go through Sony and Warner Brothers just on Sony and Warner Brothers AMC and half of Fox just to get the rights for all of those, which I don't see it. I um, think they could. I think some of those places right, would I'll definitely love it because that could maybe that could probably be a remaster, the like DVDs, box sets, Blu-ray, stuff like that could reinterest some you know people into some movies that can make some money off of it. So we'll play. So we'll play with this fan favorite, right? Especially when it came to Ninja Turtles. If it was released, and there was a Transformers version of it released, who's wearing the bandana? Right. What color is their 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 eye mask? We'll say. And are they going to make four different versions for you to collect them? Only for the sheer fact of you got to open them, transform them to figure out if you got all four turtles. Are you talking about for the TMNT van? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That would be nice. See, that'll be an interesting combo. And do you add the fifth turtle or sixth turtle? We'll say. Don't forget they they added orange. And you want to go super old school. And you had the puppeteer version. They had purple, which went to Venus. And if I'm not mistaken, they have added Venus to their their comic book. They've added Venus back to the comic book line. So. Oh, I kind of like J Bo's thing there. They should that make combined. a force set for that com- combination. I could okay. So you want them like a so you want like a build a figure almost like a set, right? Yeah. If I'm not Imagine mistaken, you, and you have metalhead as the actual like torso and the head for them. Ooh. You know that'd be kind Ooh. of you know yeah. Metalhead. But how big? But how big? Metalhead would have to be big if you're doing the turtle van. Metalhead would have to be big, or metalhead is the head. Yeah, like maybe you take the metalhead figure and he transforms into the head. And they attach to it. They have one that's the torso, two of the arms, and two of the legs. There's your four turtles, and you have metalhead that transforms, makes the head. I think that would be a pretty damn sweet thing for a combiner set. Has uh, anybody makes this Hasbro? We would just like a set. I just would like one. You know that is so Power favorite. Rangers right now. That is so Power Rangers when they had the Builder Zord. I can see yep. the Builder Zord version. Mm-hmm. So maybe that could be like a mini combo, and they make a Transformers esque version, but it's not it- transformable. And you want to and you want to do it even better. You make the villains Shredder. You have Shredder. You have Rock City. You have Bebop. You have some of those characters that could be the legs, whatnot. You've got the foot soldiers, one arm. I just can't think of who would be the the other arm or something. You're like one foot shoulder, Rock City, Bebop. Crank's the center. Now, if you're doing Crank, Crank is always going to be that center. Oh, Crank, Crank's going to be the, Crank would be the Crank could be the chest for that. Crank is forever the centerpiece. If you oh, ever yeah. have Crank, Crank is forever the centerpiece. Yes, Jable, you you finally contributed to something that we could all talk about, and that is the team, <laughs> TMNT Transformers. Yes, thank you, Jable, for that one. Uh, speaking of awesome. stuff, speaking of stuff to build, ladies and gentlemen, get your tissues ready. We'll say tissues and lubricant. Yes, I mean that in profusely, only because if you're a big Lego fan, like some of us are. A huge Lego fan. Uh, we'll let these quickly go by. Um, <laughs> I mean, huge. Let's let me just give you a date: nineteen eighty nine. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Or just think about Wayne Manor, ladies and gentlemen. Legos is now bringing out the Batmobile in Lego form. Damn good, dude. Damn good, dude. I like, I like, I love Eric. <laughs> I, I love to be your hero. Uh, <laughs> but anywho, uh, this is a must-have. I don't care if you don't like Legos. I don't care if you don't like Batman. But 
if you watch this movie, don't care how old you are, when you watch this movie, the Batmobile was the movie. Forget Michael Keaton, forget Jack Nicholson. Batman and Batman Returns was all about this Batmobile. Mm -hmm. And when you bought, and this was the worst toy release ever, when I believe when Mattel released the Batmobile from Batman Returns and it split, and some of us had those cars, you could never put those two back together ever again. No. And that was the worst part of toys. Yep. This is now like redemption. This is the redemption toy. Or yeah. if you bought the or if you bought their uh Batman anime series car, which was like this, which was like very, very big. Oh yeah. That'll give you props for if you have that Batmobile, kudos to you. But as far as Legos are concerned, this is a must. And I know one person who is a big uh, Legos collector is a big Legos fan. Has a big Lego collection. Ah, uh, they they've added they've added Vicky Vale. They've added Batman. They've added the Joker. Ta da! I mean, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie though. I want if Michael Keaton ever does a comic book, and you have mm -hmm. Kim Basinger doing a comic book, uh, uh, doing a Comic Con, I would get this set signed. God, yeah. Because I, I don't see Jack Nicholson ever going to a comic book convention because he doesn't need it and he probably doesn't yeah. ever want to go to one ever. He probably makes fun of us for this stuff. <laughs> the same how make, Leonardo DiCaprio. He would make a killing though. His line would be out like you would not. The only way you come to a comic con is just to meet just to meet Jack Nicholson, and you're not coming for the convention. You're standing on that damn line, even oh, if yeah. it's outside below twenty freezing. You're standing out just to meet. You're waiting for autograph and photo ops just for that day alone. And he's going, who the hell would come from? Oh, my God. Do you know how many people probably would line up around the corner for him? Yes. Jeez, man. That would be insane. Yeah. So they have this lovely little three set. I would love to get this signed. I would love to add this to my collection. Yet again, guys, you're adding to your collections. I think you're just adding... the three figures alone are worth it. That's you know, true, the three true. little Lego figures, those are incredible. Like, I love that little design. Like, it has the, like, the, red, those the gargoyles, like the rooftop thing. So, that neat piece they had a display if you had the room. Like, that's actually really nice. Uh, I'm waiting for someone. You can probably add this to your Ghostbusters tower if you add to the Ghostbusters building. Oh, yeah, right. If you need to rebuild the scene anyway, just put this on top. That's, that's what you have to do. Because it's basically the same brick building rooftop, sort of. <laughs> Between the little gargoyles, you've got the the gun for the Joker. I love the face on it. They did a fantastic job with that. Oh Just man, for... look at that! The costume alone, to the hat, they did a great job with this. The detail is is so good. Amazing. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll give you guys we'll give you guys full screen view and everything for it. I mean, my thing froze by putting a full screen view. <laughs> <laughs> I like it didn't work. I don't know what the heck's going on now all of a sudden. Oh, no, my computer froze. Anyway. Vicky Valancourt. Vicky Vale. Batman. I mean, that, I do like the way the Batman cowl looks, too, because it does have that, like, Michael Keaton look where it didn't look like it fit him just right, where it looked like it was a little loose around his neck and his chin. You know, the, all the rubberized look to it. Batarang gun. The Batarang gun. We haven't seen yeah. a single... Lego Batman come with a battery gun. He always comes with a batarang, but never with the gun. Yep. Well, that so wouldn't this... that be the grappling gun? I think the right. You know, you put you put a little string, a little tether from from that to that, and he yep. shot him up. That's basically what it was. Yeah. Yes, and you're right. It looks like the mask does the cow doesn't fit the head. Yep. Just kind of like uh, in the movie did. But I could just imagine. Look, this is actual fabric. Like, oh, dude. Yep. And and you know when Comic Con comes, you're buying the Chinese version, not those of these. We we get it because you have <laughs> to have it bucks. too. They're like five or ten dollars now. Some of these. If you're gonna do it, buy the display case for some of them, please. Buy the display case because those are kind of cool, and you can get those when you get these Lego signed. Add the display case to it because at least you have it display for them. Mm -hmm. So some of these guys that sell these like mini figures, they sell mini display kits or mini displays for just individual Legos. So you can make like a wall to wall, um, wall to wall version of it. Look, the top latch opens up to fit your Batman. <laughs> like, come on, guys. 
That is definitely cool. They did a great job with this. I love the way the the jet engine in the back looks to the front engine, the way it has that like turbine on it. The detail me, on this is really good. Tell me the, the song isn't playing in your head. Tell me a song <laughs> isn't playing in your head right now as you're you looking have, at you Batman toy. Prince, Prince is in the background, man. The music's playing. I'm hearing the theme song of Batman right now, the OG yep. version. Uh, does it have the machine gun? No, this one doesn't add the machine guns in this one yet. Just have to buy those separate. <laughs> I think they. I think Legos will probably avoid it just for just for the sake the sake of it. Stuff, yeah. But but look at the wheel, bro. <laughs> just this is the wheel. I, I love it. Lego group and stuff like it's almost like the Michelin Goodyear tires and stuff like that. You know, they actually like they made their own little rubber tires. Like this the is Batman really logo neat. in the center. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just to show you guys one more time, yes, right here and right here would add the would add would be would be the machine guns coming yep. out, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's a third party person that has the kit so you can oh, yeah. probably attach them on. But here's the thing: when you're making this, you're gluing it together, or you're piecing it just in case you got to put it back in the box. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I glue it, but I would want to because I would be so afraid of it breaking or something you know but like but like would you display this like is it oh, a display yeah. like yeah this like is, this if is this something... is a display piece i'm gluing it then if you're displaying it i'm gluing it because all it takes is one person to drop it right oh yeah and we know legos if you watch that lego show <laughs> when he shows up with the bat or he drops oh, my it, God, like, lego especially when he drops it <laughs> yes especially lego megas when he drops it when will arnett drops the lego from like literally two stories it's just two stories. Yeah. He drops it from the second floor, and it's more it's pieces than ever before. Bomb. That's exactly what I feel every time I want to build a figure of where Legos, and all it takes is one person picking it up. And some idiot says, what, you, what would you do if I drop it? I'm like, I'd, I'd kill, kill you? you because I got to put it back together. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think you know? there's certain ones that you would probably have to like glue together. Like, this would be one the Millennium Falcon, the Death Star. Death Star. Like, those ones, you're not. No, no. You're, you're, Don't touch you're it. Them. No, I will murder you. Go near that thing. Yeah. This one only has 3,300 pieces, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, only 3,300 pieces, but just enough to have it in your heart. You look at this and then you look at the movie, like the car, the way it looks. This looks just like the damn movie. It's so good. They did such a great job with this. Oh, no, I just realized I just showed the, the, the POS version. And yet again, if you don't like that version, there's always the POS version that's only 300 pieces. I forgot I had this in the image. 366 pieces. <laughs> in case you think that breaks, but you want it on display, but doesn't have the original. But just to add Jabo's question, does it have machine guns? I think that looks like a machine gun or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you also have the limited edition 300 piece one as well, too. Quick for those kids. Cute to have on your cute little displays. But for my opinion... I won't that's, the one you give, that, that's the one you give your 10 year old because you're like, oh, it's 300 pieces. Don't you dare touch daddy's. I'll kill you. <laughs> don't you dare touch. Don't you dare touch daddy's $200 piece, yep. which I will murder you if it ever breaks. Yep. But like, uh, all right. We got one more. We have one more Lego set to look at as well, too. And this is a delayed. It's not a delayed piece. I feel like it, it's perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that next year we'll be seeing this movie, and this movie was supposed to be wait. This movie was supposed to be released in March, and as I said before, this is their second version of this car. Uh, they did release the house mm -hmm. of this toy, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, from the afterlife, <laughs> <laughs> we have the Ghostbusters afterlife vehicle. Now, I am in awe of this. When I mean in awe, can you like like the detailing on this, the scuff marks, mm -hmm. the fact that it comes in with a remote control like trap car? This now gives it like a little detail. This gives it away. If you want a quick giveaway on a toy, this is why toys need to be released after the movies. This is yeah. a giveaway, or at least the week of the movie to really. You know? Right. So somehow in the movie, this will probably ruin a little small piece of it. Does it really hurt it as much? No. This is another showpiece. This is another one to have on your display. If you're not having Batman and you're a bigger Ghostbusters fan, 
I will eventually zoom in just for you. Um, just to zoom in on, on a few pieces. Like, this is, to me, Ghostbusters 1 and 2 top. Like, especially with the updated tanks. Because remember, yeah. the first one only had one tank. This is updated yep. for two. Uh, this one is a proton shooter. If you remember us correctly, this was a proton shooter. And I believe this one was a, another trap. So these are updated from the originals. Remember, the first one also had one gun. This is two guns. Yeah. Uh, also have the rust marks. These are the rust mark oh, yeah. stickers or probably painted on. Uh, the tail. Like, the fact that it has its own piece for the Ghostbuster logo. You the got door it. opens. Just the front. Right. If you, if you just covered up that Ecto one and just showed me that, I would know exactly what that was from. You know, right? Oh, so you, you're you're the automatically Cadillac know that well, is at, Ghostbusters. Well, look at the detailed front to look like a Cadillac. Like yep. you could, as you said before, I do have another picture. If you take out the Ecto one license plate, you have the front Cadillac for even some of Stephen King's movies. Uh, what was the one where he's obsessed with the car and uses a pink Cadillac, or even the movie Pink Cadillac? Uh, uh, this is a Cadillac front. Was it Carrie? Was the car? No. Uh, no. What the? Uh, oh my God. Uh, so I remember the the uh, Chris. Right. Chris sounds King? sounds familiar. Sounds like the movie. So I remember correctly. Stephen King movie that used a Cadillac in the movie, and I believe yeah, Christine. Christine. Yep. Uh, and also, uh, Clint Eastwood in some of his movies uses a cat. He was driving a Cadillac as well too. This is a must in all detail. Dude. Oh, it's insane. And I do this like that. Like back that, door. That, that looks like a little like a uh, remote control car for like uh, collecting traps probably because they're in the uh, like. No, Kansas. that is a trap. Yeah. That looks like one of the kids remote controlling a trap yeah. to probably catch a ghost ahead of them. Yeah. So and it's probably them. put it that way because on the rocky road, like the, the terrain there where they are. That's how you get it out there instead of just throwing it down where it's not going to, you know, you can't roll it on the floor where it would stay. Right. I love the extra piping detail, the satellite dish on top. Yet again, the tank, the like, I look, I could, I could see a person with electronics playing with this and adding mm -hmm. the lights to this. I can see someone yeah. adding the lights to here to zigzag or wigwag and everything, especially for the blue lights. I'm not so much about the red lights. But especially the blues. And don't forget this blue one here. These are new attachments. On your previous Ecto 1 and Ecto 1A for Ghostbusters, uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, they never had the black blue, the back blue lights. The only thing that's different with this car, you look at it, it looks a little too long. Right. It does, it almost looks like they took like a, I want to say like extended. a bus in a way, like they extended it. It feels like a bus to it. Well, it was extended. It, it, this is an ambulance. This is an ambulance car because don't forget, they had to fit a body, a full body here. Yeah. Someone had to sit here as well too. So these, the all, all the all the seats in the front were functional. Mm. It's true, and that's why they put it back there because they slid the casket in and out, or right. the you know the bed. Yeah, so I could see that. Right. Ernie and they had the proton packs and stuff. So as far as the movie version, uh, this looks big. You may be right though. This is big as far as Legos are concerned. Yeah. But as far as, but as far as accuracy and stuff, it, it should be yeah, accurate on. enough. Because they're going to make a movie accurate, which I can understand. And as and as Berge was talking before, the front grill. You take away you take away that front plate. That's a Cadillac. Yeah. That's an amazing picture view of a Cadillac. And I'm not I'm not gonna be surprised if if uh, Lego still continues their car lines, especially when they're done with Ferrari, Porsches, and Lamborghinis, that they start doing some of the classic cars now. I mean, they've already started. They this is their second version of the classic ambulance car, the 1967 ambulance car, which originally comes in red. Right. So also side note there, the sidecar. Which everyone likes to know oh, as well good. too. Also, the back oh, of good. that chair has the the uh, the proton pack as well too. So it has the gunner, their version of the gunner chair. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. I love with the little arrow pointing back in, so you slide it right back in. So you know this is the direction it's got to go in. Yeah, it goes in that way. 
Ah, oh, just just an amazing piece to have. And there it is, guys. Only two thousand three hundred pieces for this lovely little Ecto One from bad. Ghostbusters and you Afterlife. Look at that, that's only twenty three hundred and like fifty two pieces. And the Batmobile was like what thirty six hundred pieces, roughly. Like a thousand more, like thirteen hundred more pieces than this. Literally have a thousand more pieces on the on the and Batmobile. This looks like it's got way more detail to it. Look yeah. at all the little side pieces, little small pieces, the intricacy of it. That's it's pretty nice. This one must have a lot bigger pieces for like the side walls of the the doors and stuff like that. So I'm that's not like why. they both they're both gonna have weight to it as well too. Like oh, with, yeah. especially with this one, especially the Batmobile. Uh, the Batmobile is gonna have a lot more weight compared to this one. This one has more little pieces, as we'll say, because these are the little pieces that are going to be, especially for the top of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So, yet again, it's that fear. Remember, we always have the fear of little pieces. Ghostbusters is the fear of little pieces. So, I recommend you hot gluing, the, like super gluing this <laughs> car if you're gonna if you're gonna display this. This is a super glue must have. Yeah, and um, make sure you get the math, the uh, the directions right before you do super glue because once it's super glued. You're oh buying God. a whole new one. You're buying a whole new one. Yeah, when you when you once you super glued, you're you're done. Yeah. Um here's another set of figures we're about to show you guys. And I will I'm, I'm just gonna say this. These are recolored. Now series I got series one slash series two was re-released in the Mortal Kombat line as well, too. Yeah. And McFarlane Toys has gone out of the way to re-release the same six five or six figures. That they they have just given us minus one character, or two characters technically, um, minus Johnny Cage and Molina. So there you go. Now you, oh, now you guys know Liu exactly Kang. where we're going. And Liu Kang. No, they never released Liu Kang. Uh, I thought I saw a Liu Kang figure for the new ones. Did they finally? I, I don't think remember. So. Not many. I, I knew it's very little, but they have. They've got, they've got Sub Zero. Uh, yeah. So well, what's what, what, we'll go in alphabetical order technically, and don't be alarmed if you see two versions of of um, of Raiden. Yes, there's also a third version of Raiden as well too. So n now we have the second edition of Baraka. If you saw it previously, I believe a month ago when we showed you guys the McFarlane toys, uh, Baraka had a more darker colors. These are more of the white toned, uh, bloodier outfits. We'll say more of a white toned white outfits. Uh, or as they like to say, the nude version colors, which I don't know why they named it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have Baraka. Pretty cool. Same same exact figure that you saw before, too. Um, but a newer costume, pretty much. Anything torso-wise to the arms and to his everything. Same figure except for his bottom half. Bottom half is completely new and recolored. Uh, they I love the white and red. They did a great job with this, even all the way down to like the teeth, the way it looks, the arms, the scaling on it. Um, I I think this is fantastic. I love this piece. If you missed the first edition, definitely gotta have the second edition. Yeah. Uh, yet again, gotta love gotta love McFarland Toys that giving you a display piece. Hasbro, a, <clears throat> can you start brain. giving us display pieces? <laughs> Hasbro, please. You know, and he has a little start brain. And he has a little brain. Same figure that we saw before, too, where he pierces the guy and he takes up the brain. That was his fatality. They gave us the same fatality moves again. Uh, next, we also have Raiden. Right. Um, the white outfit edition as well, too. Comes out more bloodier. This one comes an extra accessory as well, too. This one wears lightning. The previous figure had a blue lightning. This one has a red lightning, so it's pretty cool. And his staff is a more bloodier, more red. Yes. Just so you know. Da, 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 da. I'm great. They did a great job with this. I, I do like this piece. The the costume looks amazing, and it's like basically right off of, I want to say, I think this is Mortal Kombat 11. I think this might be the uh, DLC for it, the Aftermath uh, DLC. That's what some of these pieces are from. So, I mean, it's a win-win fans of this, this stuff. And they have like a spawn figure, and they have a couple of different spawn ones from this game. And people, we can't keep them in stock. They go crazy for these. Like these are legit hot sought after at a uh, GameStop. Well, the next thing, the next one I'm about to show you guys is the only time Scorpion is going to be released. And this is a uh, this is a new uh, edition of Scorpion. But yet again, Raiden got released in this lovely little two pack, and that is the Scorpion and Raiden two pack that's also available at GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Um, 
I like this version of Scorpion a little bit better than the, I guess, the more of the ninja mask that he had before. I definitely think this because it's more human, where they right. humanized him more, per se. The only downfall I feel like this is this doesn't give me the Scorpion feel like yes. to this, you know, because it's not this the look of Scorpion in a way. He doesn't, like, yeah, he looks more like a ninja. He looks like he, yeah. he's, he's ready for. Have you played the video game Ghost of Tsushima? If yes. You played the video game Ghost of Tsushima. That's what Tsushima, uh, Shinjaku, uh, Shin, Jin, that's yeah, what he looks like. Pretty yeah, much. It looks like that. That's what he looks like with the mask and everything like that. The ghost mask. That's what he has the look of. But what if, what if, what if there's a connection? Wow. Ghost of Tsushima. Who knows? Nah, who knows? <laughs> anyway, this is the second release of uh, Sub Zero. I mean, of Raiden. Sub Zero. Look at this. I get the, the Sub Zero because of the blue. You yeah. know, I like him a little bit too. Staff was also different as well too. So especially on a Mortal Kombat 11, you can actually change their masks, their shields, and their weapons as well too, which is pretty cool. So just like in the video game, they also gave you um, new accessories. This one also doesn't come with Scorpion's uh, spear, right. and that's something that makes him very oh, Scorpion, yeah. especially um, especially with different. Um, the previous sets that automatically came with it. I mean, Scorpion always threw it. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the movie, it came out of his hand. We got it, you know, because we never could figure out what it was. So in the movie, they made it look like it came out of his hand. I see. The thing I think that they're doing with this is this is more geared towards, like, the video game, but also a little bit more towards the movie, the Scorpion's Revenge movie that they made. This is what this kind of reminds me of, because when he goes after uh, Sub-Zero and his clan, he was more humanized until he became... You know. Scorpion. So this is part of his storyline. This is yeah. a, so. So as far as Raiden and Scorpion is concerned, this is pre-Scorpion before you got the Hellraiser Scorpion in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're not changing the colors on purpose, but this is the the alternate colored version of Spawn. Normally, Spawn is black and red. This is the flesh toned. Hunt, well, this is the uh, Fiend Hunter skin version. Yeah. So this is the alternate color. Uh, yet again, they, they stuck with the whole white and blood thing kind of thing. Uh, instead of it being black, they ch changed it to a nude color. Still pretty pretty cool because you get to see all the scarred veins going up, up and down yeah. on the character. You definitely nasty. see the burnt scars on the legs. Pretty cool. Very, very naked. Um, naked. Uh, the only thing that I see with the face, it kind of reminds me of like uh, Deadpool from the X Men movie, where Ryan Reynolds had his mouth sewn shut. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How you? How dare you? You could now you now you can easily take that head off and put him on a Ryan Reynolds, put him in a suit, and it looks like Ryan Reynolds. Yep. Oh, dude, dude, hey, you man. just ruined me. You know right, people thanks. are gonna do it. Yeah, and I know you're gonna be the first one to do it as well too. I have the axe. <laughs> I have the power. Right. Seriously, Hasbro, give us stands for crying out loud. Yeah, that that ah. would make it awesome so people could actually stand up their figures and do different stuff. You see what I do with the build with the build of figure sets? Yep. I stand them up to see what figure can stand up on their own after I pick them out of the packaging because it'll take you forever just yep. to get that perfect stand and to have them stand straight. <laughs> Not gonna lie, McFarlane did it better. We're just we're just gonna give you a stand because if it's topsy turvy or whatever, at least the figure will stand. Oh, McFarlane's uh, going to take it out of the box and uh, display. It. That's why. Yes, and last but not least, we have uh, Frozen Overskin Sub uh, Sub Zero. I thought his foot was missing. Yeah, go ahead. I, yeah, it does foot look like his uh, front foot there is missing the way it's blending in right there. Yeah, yeah. I thought um, it was missing. I was like, wait a minute. I do like this one. It, it's very different with him from the, the Sub-Zero esque, but uh, well, at least he comes with he comes with this fatality. Yeah. He legit comes with this fatality as I as I as I use this figure for for historical reasons. Like, ah, there we go. I have it. I have your <laughs> I have your your skull and backbone. But if you're missing any predator action figures and you're missing the accessory, yeah. all you gotta do is borrow Sub Zero's accessories because he has the exact same move where he takes the guy's spine to head off, and most of the predators come with the same exact accessory. Right. 
Those are nice sets and exactly. everything as well, too. Yeah. I'm just setting you guys up. I'm just trying to warm you guys up just for one more thing. Because you know what, what you know what segment we're we're about to get into, and that is for all you guys that love to chase those Funko toys. I I, I can't express how much I don't like Funkos. <laughs> I express this on a daily basis, even when I go to a Comic Con, of how ugly some of these Funko toys are. But I'm You're not gonna lie. Like no, because I almost I almost did when I was in Massachusetts uh, last time when I was there. I was going to buy the Ronald McDonald, uh, the the McDonald's toys that were, were that were at um, Mulberry Comics. Yep. I almost bought them, but then having to pay like fifteen dollars, and then having their sale like buy three get one free, those yep. kind of things, and that's how some stores get you, where it goes back to retail if you buy the other two for free. So that's where it kind of like kills me in a way to buy sometimes full retail instead of buying it the first time. And then there was that four pack, and that's the four pack I really wanted. Five pack. It was a five, five pack. Five pack. And the fact that it was what McDonald's had them for a short while, and it was very select McDonald's. Oh yeah, sold out. That killed it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that killed me as well too. They should add those as a, as a Happy Meal. The only way you get these toys is through a Happy Meal, and you paid full retail after you bought the Happy Meal. That's something I would have done. Well, <laughs> I remember when they did that with the uh, was it the Beanie Babies? People where parents or women would go through the drive through buy the Happy Meal just to get the toy and throw the Happy Meal out. Yeah. So what a waste that's, of when, that's when McDonald's started doing it where we'd sell they would sell their toys separate or any collectibles or things like that. You could buy them separate and they were anywhere between a dollar to five dollars depending on the collectible piece or the right. toy. So you would, you would think that. Yeah. But yet again, for all you Funko lovers out there, this is for you because you love collecting Funkos and you love collecting Funkos. You have those giant walls, and I like to express and thank thank so you for those several people because you have because you have four displaying on top, especially three those those five Mandalorian figures, three of four of them being Baby Yodas. Yep. Well, actually, all five have Baby Yoda. In it. The Mandalorian with the child in the Beskar armor. All right, we're going to start with toys that are going to be coming out. Starting your pre order now, jumping into next year. Um, this is the Funko Candyland edition. So, this is the Candyland figure. So, if, ever, if you ever played the board game Candyland, it's for you. Just like Monopoly, they now release Candyland. This also looks like a thing of nightmares to this little figure. <laughs> Jelly bean, but it's supposed to be a jolly bean jelly bean, yeah. right? Stuff ah, like that. Dude. I never played I never played the board played game. Cotton uh, Candyland. I never played the board game. So if anyone wants to play the board game with me, okay, sure. <laughs> let's go. Uh -huh, we also have King Candy. This is strictly right. Uh, see, this reminds me of Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> right, so now I, I was gonna say the same thing. This reminds me of Wreck It Ralph right here. Like, come on. This is where Wreck It Ralph sold it from, Candyland. I was gonna say, do you think this is where they sold it from, like Sugar Sugar Rush, Sugarland? You know, is Candyland basically? Because we have Mister Mint. That this was like the Gumdrop people, you know, Mister yep. Mint, little Gumdrops. So there, you got your figures right there. We also have the player piece. This one we didn't see as much. So, but this reminds me of your uh, Christmas cookies, your your oh, little yes. trays. Yes. 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 So if you oh if God. you needed. This would be cool if they did chases of these in different colors. Oh, uh, dude! Imagine like See, I don't. What were the pieces? Was this one the pieces? Did they come in different colors? Was there a girl version of it? Like, am I missing out on something? Like, I feel I like would this. Assume they'd have to have a female one for it, dude. It's been years. I do mean probably 15, 20 plus years. Their version of Princess Penelope, which is Princess Frostine, which <laughs> is the fro the the Frosty Queen, Queen Frost. <laughs> Frostine. Frostine. So this looks like something that would have been out of uh was it the line the witch in the wardrobe? You know? Yeah, but it said you you're you're dealing with frostings. I mean I yeah. mean right now I'm I want cake. Right now with this, <laughs> I just want cake. I want frosting. <laughs> uh Jay said yes, Delicious. there's a girl version of it. Yes, thank you. In different colors. All right. All right. Almost like uh, you know, the sock and bop them and stuff, you know, like yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. You make those players in different colors for different stores. So like red for Target, blue for Walmart. You know, they did this. Like they did this for basketball. They did it for basketball. Yeah. I remember with uh, certain basketball trading cards, Target, Walmart, and Toys R Us. Target, Walmart, and Toys R Us had three different colors on their on their on their um, exclusive cards. Uh, Target had red. Uh, I believe Toys R Us had blue. Target had green. Target had no, I'm sorry. Walmart had green. Target had red. Uh, Toys R Us had blue, and then uh, Walgreen, uh, Walmart had. Can't even say Walgreen. <laughs> Walgreen, Walmart, same exact thing. Anyway, uh, they had green, so that's what they did with their sports cards. Uh, Panini, Panini was the company. Uh, yeah, that's Frosty, uh, Frostine. Uh, we're jumping right into uh, GI Joe's. Doctor Mindbender. Go beard. ahead, say say it again. Say say it again. Doctor Mindbender. <laughs> there you go. Want to do that? Yeah, Doctor Mindbender. We I don't also know about have... you, but if you're if you're like someone's Cobra, you know, you're one of the the you know, the soldiers, and you got to go see your doctor, and he's dressed like this. I don't know about you, but the man's got a cup on hooked up to a, a harness around his shoulders and a leather you know, jacket. See, I might sit there and go, you know what? I think I'm going to go to the clinic. I'm out, Doc. Thanks. <laughs> you, you know, I've also noticed about cosplayers and stuff like that. They don't normally cosplay until a toy comes out. Until yeah. there's an actual action figure or a full-blown poster. Now I feel like everyone who does G.I. Joe's, especially the old-school cartoon versions, I'm waiting for someone to do Dr. Mindbender now as a cosplay. Yeah. Yeah. And and this could easily be substituted with the Borat bikini line piece because oh it could God. be blue or red, rather over or under because it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to stay gray. It could be red, it could be blue. Remember, God, I could see that. Some people wanted to get an accurate I want silly stupidness out of some because that's purple. I would see red going with this and granted someone would say your colors are clashing. Your yep. purple and red and black are clashing. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not screen accurate. I'm waiting for someone to show up as as literally the, the Monopoly guy dressed as the I'm mono- ready for the beat monocle. speedo. <laughs> right? That's all I'm thinking. Uh, you also have Leatherneck, which to me looks like Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, yeah, in a way. Yeah. Which I'm still waiting for Sergeant Slaughter to come out. They have, uh, they have a Sergeant Slaughter pop, but it's WWE. It's not yeah, for it's Joe. It's for WWE. I have it. You have it. Yeah. And and next coming out is for people who have watched this lovely TV series. When I mean lovely TV series, I never watched it. I don't know if anyone is. I don't even know if this show is even still happening right now. Yes. But ladies, and, it's still on. Yeah, it's still on. What is it like season like a seventeen? Is thirteen or fourteen something like that? <laughs> it's been up there. Yeah. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, anyone who's a big fan of this show, Grey's Anatomy. I, I don't know any character except for McDreamy. Uh, <laughs> That's the only character I know because I remember all the ladies loved him back today because they, they called him McDreamy. It was McSteamy and McDreamy. All right, uh, uh, I guess. I don't know. It make, make, all right, I, I, I think I know who they are. I don't know. <laughs> I know who this is because she was in the TV show Ar- Ar- Arliss. Uh, she was the Asian girl in, in Arliss, if you remember the Asian show on HBO. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yep. Gabo says, man, but guess what, bro? If you're a collector and you're waiting for autographs and you're waiting for these people to come to a Comic Con near you, this is the time to collect. Because oh, why? Great. Yeah. Yeah, some of these people are going to go for these. I'm not a Grey's Anatomy fan, so this means nothing to me. But these are for the people that love Grey's Anatomy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, I mean, uh, these are for the true hardcore fans, especially for 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 Derek Shepard, aka McDreamy, right here, as you like to say. <laughs> and Jay will say, "Nope, nope, nope, dude." I bet you your wife watches the show and she wants this figure in particular. All right, I can guarantee, I can guarantee that your wife, Patrick McDermott, is that his name? Yeah, Patrick McDermott. McDermott. Yeah, I think his name McDreamy. That's what they had to make dreamy. Yeah, yeah, this is what this is where they go. Oh, he's not a nerd anymore. He's not a geek. He looks handsome. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is for the ladies like Nicole, Jabel's Jabel's wife, and yeah, other I, ladies I, I out there. This. Um, I'm gonna go with Connie. Connie's probably a big fan. Mia's probably a big fan of of Grey's Anatomy. So, 
<laughs> I'm waiting for them to just go, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, these aren't the only big figures. I'm just, I'm just, you know, playing along with this one way too much. Stuff. Messed with y'all. <laughs> uh, we also have Dr. Bailey. Not a bad set of figures. Uh, trying to get to the end one pretty much without even going overboard. And we also have uh, Meredith Gray. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't this... Uh, it's not Catherine Heigl, is it? Was her character that? I don't remember her. I remember she was on the show in the beginning. All I remember, it it, it played... This, play, this show played like a soap opera show on, yes. on ABC and everything where your main characters died and luckily they stayed dead or yep. they retired or they went to different or they went to different hospitals so some died some went to different hospitals as if like in case you want to get written back in we'll write you off somehow but if you never want to come back to the series we killed you yeah so a lot of doctors died which i never understood the, the i think they the, killed off katherine heigl's character because she was getting too big for britches because she thought oh i made a couple of movies i'm a movie star now they're like yeah no you're not here you go yeah you so. just did knocked up and a few others and everything and blah, blah, blah. uh yeah, but the director for it did all those uh rom-com movies as well too so she was yeah. casted back and pretty much all the cast members of Grey's Anatomy have been in different little roles here and there. I believe one of them just got butchered when I was like Maiden. The oh my God, it was a J Lo movie where she played the maid or whatever. Made in Manhattan. Made in Manhattan was it, or was she, or or was something like that? No, it wasn't Made in Manhattan. I'm thinking something else where she played the doctor and she played and she fell in love with um, um, Matthew McConaughey. But the guy who played. The first boyfriend, JLo's first boyfriend, who was from Italy, is from Gay Grey's Anatomy. Yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, wedding planner. No, not wedding planner. Sounds yes, yes, the wedding, wedding planner. planner. Yes, okay. I think it's the wedding planner. Yes, sounds familiar. I can't be wrong. I'm only waiting for the ladies to waiting for the ladies to jump in, and then this one says it. How the many rom coms planner. you watch, bro? Well, How many no, rom coms? I, Ty's probably sitting right there, and she remembers it and probably said it. <laughs> anyway. Without further ado, as I talk about the McDonald's sets that I do want as well, too, ladies and gentlemen, a new set of yes. McDonald's Funko Pops has just been released onto us. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of wish one of them came in a six piece. And I say this in, in, the, in, in a separate box on its own. I say this without further ado. They now have, they now brought in Birdie. As if you couldn't get the chicken in, in, in Impossible. <laughs> but was she a bird? Was she a duck? I mean, they never released duck on their menu, so I, I want to say right? she's a duck, right? I, I, I don't know, honestly. Is a a chicken a duck? But then she wouldn't be a chicken McNugget because that would be kind of you know, right? Later kind of on, she's fancy. playing. She's playing around with her buddies, but it's actually you know one of her fellow foul friends that's now a dinner. So who knows? They, they never. So they so they now are bringing back Birdie. Yep. Uh, this one says she is not a duck. Well, guess what, man? Look at that bill, and she I know, flew. It looks like a duck. So she's a duck, bro. She is a bird. Well, you know what, bird, whatever. Not a bird. Duck was never on the menu. She may be a bird, but most of the iconic stuff that they brought in, besides for grimace, that made no sense. But grimace was supposed to, was supposed to represent the milkshake. Bird is supposed yep. to represent the chicken that they have, like for chicken sandwiches, and um. That's what Birdie came in, but the problem was that they never had duck on the menu, and she is a duck. Nope. She looks like a duck to me, but hey, I get She's it. I call her Birdie. She's a bird. Bird, yeah. bird, bird, bird. Bird's the word. Bird is word. <laughs> Our list is the fry. It's the fry kids. The, I call them the fry kids, even though they, these are part of the fry guys. Yeah. But you had the you had the orange, and yeah, you had the blue ones. Uh, these, these remind me of the fry kids, not the fry guys. But to me, they were the fry kids, right? I, I always thought they were the fry guys, uh, the fry kids. So I'm sorry, fry people. Now we have to be political. You know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to me, these are the fry kids of the 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 birth of the fry guys. Yep. The birth of fry guys came fry kids, and they came with, with orange and blue of the fry kids. It's, it's, saying, it's, they were it's so kids. funny. You look at these, and they're supposed to be fry guys, like in a way. But their French fries look like they're just falling over like spaghetti. <laughs> they look like cousin it as French fries. Yeah, right. 
cousin it as french fries it's just hair coming off <laughs> like when you had soggy fries you could dress up as soggy fries ladies and gentlemen not crispy fries these are soggy fries <laughs> and these are cousin it's yeah these little 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 kids for cousin it yeah i feel like no i'm i'm, I'm gonna disagree with jaybo on this one only because of the fact that these are fried kids. Just because the Brock says fried guys, I remember at one point they tried to add more color and everything to their characters, and the fry guys were yellow. The fry guys that they have were yellow look like giant pom poms. And later they decided to add fry kids. These are the fry kids. This looks like the fry kids because they look like they're a little bit smaller than what the fry guys would look like. Um, yeah, to me, I mean, I get it. McDonald's is probably putting the fry guys because they know that's probably what's going to sell. Um, right, and putting kids and everything. and everything. Yep. Yeah, labeling the box as fried kids wouldn't wouldn't uh, sell as well as the other ones too. Mm. Also, the fact that you're eating kids, so yeah. the idea I mean, of picking up a French fry and eating one, and especially you get the small ones. Oh, dude, no, you give the kids nightmares now. No, look, I'm 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 eating a fried kid, not a fried guy. I'm eating a fried kid. Yeah, right. I can see that. Marking wise all together, this is a fried guy. Uh fried kid. Uh, we also have the McNuggets. This is the reason why. Remember, these are supposed to be like itty bitty pieces. I remember this very well. These were the itty bitties. Yep. And when you open, when they opened up the little packet, yeah, they were, they were dancing up. I was like, I said this nicely. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Kratos as the box because when they opened up the box, if your fry guys were dancing always on top, like not fry yep. guys, your nuggets, your nuggets were always dancing on top, almost like little gremlins. I mean, if you're watching Gremlins, your nuggets were Gremlins back then. <laughs> so your nuggets were little mini Gremlins popping out of that packet, and it was so cool. Um, so we also we have the Nugget Cowboy that's going to get released. The Nugget Fireman. <laughs> I love these things, man. I miss these things from when I was a kid, man. The Nugget Rockstar. This was so this was so gem. This wasn't yeah. funny. This is totally gem. So yep. this goes right to the uh the, to the points and everything. And you also had the tennis player. And I remember this, I remember this one. This was during the this is very Andre Agassi. Yes. This is Andre Agassi. Um <laughs> But they never said if this is a boy or a girl, but because they add the eyelashes, Andre Agassi's half Persian. So those eyelashes go straight with <laughs> I mean, I would probably think these are probably a female because of the lips and the way the blue eyes, you know, the makeup. I don't know, bro. Like that. So look who at, knows? Look at, look at that racket in that front pass, bro. <laughs> That's a, that is a product misplacement right there. So if, if this product is a girl, <laughs> this if this is a miss something as as right. jay will says richard simmons no there was a richard simmons one <laughs> there was a richard simmons one if i'm not mistaken there was one with a shirt on so for their workouts with these is if they're small enough the, mcdonald uh they should make like a a chicken nugget holder for these and you put them all in it and like the front parts a little lower the back ends a little higher you click them in there and then you open it up and you display all of them because that would be awesome to have if I remember correctly, didn't he have a gun? I think he didn't did. Cowboy, yeah. didn't Cowboy have a p pistol? Didn't Cowboy have a pistol? Well, back then you were allowed to do that. Now we can't do that. That's a children's toy. Instead, yeah, this one gets true. a fire extinguisher and a light. I had a fire yeah. hose, but I think I think they just had him in the hat. They never added the fire extinguisher or the flashlight. I don't remember. It's been years since I've seen these things, man. Yeah, this one. I think they just added the guitar, only because yeah. the hair, the hair, and everything. And last but not least. I believe the I believe the racket was in hand, and there should be a second. If I remember correctly, there's supposed to be a second version of this one. So, Jay Boat's little Sam Elliott for the cowboy nugget. <laughs> That's great, right? They were all based off someone. So if he says it's based off Sam Elliott, it probably is based off Sam Elliott. Probably was. But, um, and then we also have Rock Out. Ronald McDonald. I do like that. He's got the glasses on. He's been jamming all night. Oh, that's totally go for a little breakfast. This was total 80s Blues Brothers right there. Yep. 
I like how he's got the the M for the arch on the base of the guitar, and he's rocking out to it. Uh, they made this guitar, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there is a guitar shaped as a McDonald's. No, that's that guitar, that guitar does exist. If I'm mistaken, that guitar does exist. Not surprised at all. Not surprised. Uh, I don't even know if I should get into this. All right, it's so Mick I'm Romney. gonna get into this. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the Mick Romney. Yeah. Um, right? So the next set of Funkos is for all you bronies out there. No. Yes, I said it. It's for all you bronies and My Little Ponies. Uh, for everyone who loves My Little Ponies, this is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start with Blossom. Jesus, I hate these things so much. <laughs> they are they are cute. I okay, okay, okay. So as much as this isn't My Little Pony, remember, they release trolls. When they yeah. release trolls, they added trolls with the hair. They add a troll hair. My Little Pony always had a thing about their hair. I don't know why Funko is about to release these toys, but they don't have the brushable hair like they do with My Little Pony. And My Little Pony was all about their brushable hair. Mm -hmm. Is this another miss by Funko, or is this something like, is this something that, like, you know, it's a miss? Maybe they couldn't get the rights to it. They got the rights to it. They got the product no, no, line, no, everything for, for the hair and stuff. Maybe that's the reason. Couldn't and... get the product. They couldn't get the product back in time to add the actual hair. Yeah. Or maybe we're seeing version one, and down the line we'll see version two because of the fact that My Little Pony, especially for '80s and everything else, was known to have brushable hair. I just, uh, I just look at these and they look like knockoffs of like the toys themselves. They look like they're made in point. China. Yeah, they look like they're you made know? in China. Because you expect the wrong deal. Like you're saying, look at that. That's literally the same exact one, just painted slightly different. But with their, with their, with but the decal, their tattoo is a little different. You know, this is this is cotton candy. I feel like cotton candy belonged in Candyland. <laughs> I feel like these belong in a trash barrel somewhere. But that's these belong. Me. These belong to anyone who loves mints. You know, you gotta have the minty flavor. Minty. Remember, if, if I remember correctly, didn't this one smell like mint as well too? I think or somehow. So, man. Right. Or, a, all I know is when all the little Fortnite kids come in and go, "Hey, look! I'm looking for the minty pickaxe. I'm gonna go get this damn pony and sell it to him." Right. Yes, they do. Like they put. <laughs> look, I wouldn't be surprised, dude. This is an easy sell for Wish.com, right? If they just set these for ten bucks a piece, every brony in the world would be buying these right now. But they're all not. Know they're is, I'm gonna get sent these, Jabo. You know you're gonna get sent these at GameStop, and these things are gonna sit on the shelf until they go clearance. <laughs> Because no one's going to buy them. Ladies and gentlemen, I expect these to be sold out for all you bronies out there. I expect you to go to every single GameStop tonight or tomorrow, whichever time may be, and pre-order, pre-order them all. right now. Pre-order them on the website you go through, um, through every single Funko line that you have your hands on, including Michael's lately. Mm-hmm. So um, go and get your bronies, your My Little Ponies, out of the way. Uh, we also have Snoozle. Snuzzle. 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 My God, for all you people, just different colors. But you know, you want to snuzzle with it. You want to. You no, wanna, no. You want to. You want I wanna to set it on fire. You want to. Even with the packaging. <laughs> Even with the packaging. It's my lighter fluid. Look, don't forget, don't forget for you guys out there to get your protective cases as well too from GameStop and wherever, wherever Funko, wherever Funkos are sold. Don't forget to get your protective cases, which I yeah. mean between the soft plastic to your hard display plastics. That you find not only at GameStop but at FYE and at Hot Topic and wherever else Funkos are sold. Yes. Make sure you put them in the hard plastic so when you throw them away, they don't get damaged when they hit the bottom of the trash barrel. Can you saying. give them a break? I know, I know, I know legitly five people. I know five people that are going out to buy these My Little Ponies I... and they're excited about My Little Ponies, all right? Go for it. Have fun. Come, come pre order them so I can get them out of my store when they Let's come hear. in. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, last but not least, and I love the little Funko set going on. Um, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. They were posting all over the place. Can't wait for these. Can't wait for these. Yes, more Simpsons, ladies and gentlemen. More Simpsons Funkos. We're gonna start off with Barney. Mm-hmm. And is it just me, or when you see him as a character, you just hear belts happening in the background? Oh God, yes. 
every time I see Barney in anything video game, real like cartoon toy or anything, I just hear the the bar the, the belch. Belch. Yep. Uh, especially with Officer <laughs> the Officer Wiggum. You just hear the voice and you're thinking of donuts. Just as bad as Homer loves donuts, where he goes, donuts. You're just donuts. thinking of Wiggins doing donuts. the same thing. <laughs> Uh, and every time you get a six pack of beer, not gonna lie, you feel like Duff Man. Oh God, Duff Man! And is it just me, or did you always want? And finally, they release this, but only as a Halloween costume and stuff too. You wanted a pack to to hold your six pack of beer. As mm -hmm. a kid, you wanted you want a six pack, or you wanted that to hold your soda cans. Mm -hmm. Just to hold your sodas. It's actually like, uh, I, Otto, uh, one of our, a friend of mine, Otto. He does uh, Duff Man for comic-con and he right. has the simpsons couch and he raises money for charity for cancer uh and he does this he's a former uh, military member and he does this to raise money great guy right. and he looks like duff man he's got the personality the attitude and goes around and does it absolutely funny he does it tongue-in-cheek and stuff like that. It's a really good time you, you ever had a comic-con you, you see otto dressed as duff man Go take a photo with them. He's a great I, guy. How, how, do I, how do I miss this? I've been doing your show for five years. Well, usually he's, up, years. he's usually upstairs on the fifth floor uh, outside of the panel rooms and the celebrity rooms because that's where they get the most foot traffic. And that's where we put him to help him raise money for charity and stuff like that. So he does a really good job up there on that fifth to floor. To walk the convention floor to make my day and make everyone else's day. Duff man around the show floor. He never gets a chance to leave that spot, man, because so many people go up there for autographs and uh, for photo ops with them. Sorry. I've never see. I've gone upstairs. I've never seen him. So that's <laughs> my fault. How many times have I gone upstairs to that damn floor, that painy ass floor? Yeah. Uh, uh, we also have those. This is the ten inch, those big box figures and stuff. So this is Homer on the TV uh, the only, for everyone who does want it. The only issue I have with this is the Homer, the the hair on the back of it. It almost looks like because you see on the side of his ears and then the top part, it almost looks like it's like a round like circle in a way. I don't know. I'm just not digging that because he's supposed to have the wisp of hair. I get that, but that looks like it's one giant piece. Maybe it's meant to be earlier version of Homer because don't forget, you know, Before, this could be early version. Uh, <laughs> or also, they probably didn't want to draw it in and just to show that he actually had hair. Or yeah, this is pre Homer. This is pre before he loses it all. Mm. Honestly, this also could be Ed O'Neill from uh, Married with Children. Al Bundy, look at that. No, he's just missing. He's just missing the hand, in the pants. Yeah, right gotta there. have the hand in the pants. You know? uh, oh, dude, this is just yeah. All you gotta do is repurpose this, and there you go. There you go. Yep. Repurpose this, and his his remote control hand is hand in the pants because that's yep. the only thing that makes sense. Yep. Or he used to do that. Or, he would sit there with the bear in the other yes. hand. <laughs> or he has the dog. He needs his fur like furry dog next to him as well too. Yep. Or you get the Peggy version. You get two versions in one. Oh, dude, you're on the money with that one. You have Itchy coming out. I was their version of Ren and Stimpy. I love yeah, their version of Ren and Stimpy. I love those cartoons. Whenever they showed that, and you know, uh, Bart and Lisa would sit in front of the TV and watch them. And then they, like, I remember, what was it they stopped in the episodes because they were too violent and they had to be out and be all nice and friendly and whatnot and stuff like that. Oh, God. So good. Love these. I'm still in shock that Simpsons didn't do a, um, a, a side show of this because they did oh. Futurama. Yep. But at least a mini itchy and scratchy segments, just like two or three minute movies, just like you would been in, just like how you were Tom and Jerry. You know, I'm so actually surprised they have not released like a DVD or a, like a set because I bet you money with what are they 31 years now? Simpsons have been on the air. They had to have at least a good probably 10 full episodes that they could just release of itchy and scratchy. Yeah, or just, itchy and scratchy cartoon. just yep. one Blu-ray of nothing but itchy and scratchy like. We're gonna make the best of, and we'll and we'll create like four or five like episodes just for you guys. Yep, and they could do some like behind the scenes and stuff like that. I think they could definitely do it. Uh, we also have the <laughs> the emblem of the donut store, uh, Lard, Lard Lad. Lad. <laughs> My version. Uh, th this to me was Big Boy and Krispy Kreme and Run, or their version of of Big Boy. I mean, did anyone realize also also he has Pac-Man eyes? Yes, right. I, I was just zooming in on that. I'm like, why does he have Pac-Man eyes? That is so weird to me. He's always had Pac-Man eyes. So there's like yeah. the 80s nostalgia right there of big boy restaurants, which did exist on the East Coast, but they're very hard to find on the East Coast to the point where 90, also 80s nostalgia as well too, which was the Pac-Man craze. 
So, so now you my have curiosity, to- I'm curious on this one, if you would know this or maybe someone else might know this that watches us, uh, Springfield, where this okay. takes place. Is this Springfield, Massachusetts, Springfield, Ohio, Springfield, Springfield Missouri? Where is it? Springfield, Massachusetts. It is Springfield, Mass. That they said this takes place. They also say Springfield, Connecticut, and I don't even know that there is the Springfield, Connecticut. I don't think. Uh, there's a but it's not. But it's not Ohio. I know for a fact it's not Ohio. Because I know that was a rumor, like a huge thing. It was like it was either Ohio, it was Massachusetts, Missouri. There's no Boston Celtics reference. Okay. Because otherwise they would have a Cleveland Cavalier reference, but one of their mascots is very Cavalier. So there was that, there is that, there is that in between. Hmm. So they may run between both cities, but some people say you have to cut through Connecticut. So there was a joke in one of the episodes where they said you have to cut through Connecticut to go to Springfield, which means it's a Northeast Coast kind of thing, not a yeah. Midwest. All right. Just always curious on that. I don't remember. Yeah. It's been a minute since I've watched The Simpsons. But yet again, someone of the Simpsons lore can come in to tell us this because I'm yeah. going from what I know on just a few episodes. And I know more yeah. people know a lot more than just two of us. Where is the Simpsons city? What is the main city hub? Is it Ohio? Is it Massachusetts? Because they have done both references. Yeah. They have done both references. And I think they did it on purpose so that they both feel welcome, especially with their Cavalier additions to their very Irish and ca- to their very Irish. Uh, episodes as well too uh we also have mafia bart i don't even remember this as an episode I, my, hey, favorite those episodes collectors. Are, my favorite episodes of the simpsons are always the treehouse of horrors right i always love that one i always love the, the first one i remember when i was a kid was bart was sitting there saying i've got a story so scary it'll make you wet your pants and grandpa simpson goes too late He's already wet his pants. And I was always remember that as a kid. And that was always my funniest part. And the one where they, they made fun of the, sh- the shining. It's the shining, yeah. boy. Do you want to get a sued? Always it's one of my favorite sh- episodes. Uh, we don't forget, without Itchy, you need Scratchy. <laughs> it looks like a vampire cat here. Look at this. Like, you could easily just run off and just do... Because they released Tom and Jerry. So put Tom and Jerry next to Itchy and Scratchy when you finally have two actual figures of them chasing each other. Mm-hmm. And who would win the fight? Tom and Jerry or Itchy and Scratchy? Oh, I say Itchy and Scratchy. They're two psychos. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, super fan Homer Simpson. Yeah. I say super fan because this is yeah. USA, so Homer. Because yep. when it came to Olympic Games, he was super... No, no this is during soccer games? Again, I don't remember. And I forget, but this, to me, in my opinion, I call him super fan Homer. That when it came to certain games and certain sports, he was that super super fan. Yeah, he always did dress the part from the for that episode or something or whatever it was. Uh, what were some of your toys that that really um, got your attention today? Uh, for me, it was the Spider Verse. Uh, those ones. I, I really like the Miles Morales, those ones. Uh, the Peter B. Parker. I really dug that. Um, I really did like the Batman, the Batmobile, 89 Batmobile. Like, that is something that's a really nice piece. When is GameStop going to start collecting or start carrying Legos? Could you imagine? We do in certain stores. Uh, certain stores do get certain Legos, but it's only some of the, like, the, the Lego Friends ones. Some of the new superhero movies that they came out, the Spider Man's Avengers. Full of details. Yeah. Yeah. And then they did some of those ones where it was like you had to scan a barcode and it came to life on your phone, like those ones. We had yes. those we sold. Um, not all the GameStops, it's some of like the 50 50 stores and the store in a store or the Think Geek ones. Those carry the most. So that's like Providence Place Mall, Will, uh, Cranston Parkade nearby with me in Rhode Island. In Boston, it's like the Brain Tree one. Some of the ones up near Boston, they will carry them at uh, a lot of them. And then most of the stuff we can get on our website, but not everything. Right. Yeah, oh, a lot man. of that stuff is still Walmart and Target. Those are the best places to find a lot of that stuff. Unfortunately, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Funko to release the mini packet for just the nuggets alone. Mm-hmm. You know, especially when they make the especially when they make the the small keychain versions of some of the Funko. Yes. So they can easily put those in like a six piece, like a like put in the egg cart. Like we'll we'll, we'll understand it. Put a six piece. What is it? Uh, McDonald's does four piece for the kids, six piece 
It's six, eight piece. 10, and 20. Yeah, 6, 10, and 20. So do that. Or yeah. do it for the fact that if you end up doing... They never did all 20 characters, but they did give them extra jobs later down the line. Yep. Um, I would be okay with his version of blind bagging it as oh, well, God, too. Oh, God, yes. But at least give us the case so that we can store the nuggets yes. as if they were nuggets in like an egg carton or whatever. So give us the box to go with it, because I would totally like go 100% with it. <laughs> You know how they do advent calendars? Do one for like that for the, the nuggets and you get the nugget bucket and it's a little bit larger and you can fit, you know, the rows of them. Right. Five, five, 10, 15, 20, four rows, five across. You could fit them all in and you buy them as blind bags and you get the display piece. And you say so you buy the display, it comes with the nugget box and you get like two of them with it. And then right. you have to buy all the individual blind bags. Oh, dude, like. I probably yeah. would buy those and trade and find to collect all 20. First person that collects all 20 McDonald's gives them like, you know, nuggets for a year nuggets for a year or something. Yeah. You know, like, I think that'd be awesome. Right. You know? The first person to get it gets nuggets for a year. I mean, that's not a bad compromise. I mean, look at McDonald's when they did the Monopoly and we found out all of Monopoly was a giant scam even years ago. I'm like, oh my God. What the oh yeah. Like we didn't know that wasn't a scam. Like, come on. Yeah, I mean, but it was it was but it was cool getting a free meal every now and then. Yeah, courtesy of it. So that was free was Big it a Mac. complete scam or was it? I mean, I got a free Big Mac, free medium Coke. I mean, sometimes if you save, right? If you save the right ones, was drink, soda, and sandwich. That was a free meal. So oh, technically, yeah. if you if you save them just right, and you got more pieces after after those as well too. So your free meal gave you free a couple more extra pieces. When we were younger, we were broke kids, man. We had to do everything we could to scrimp up to save up. And you back know? in those days, those sandwiches were sixty nine cents to eighty nine cents. Your and regular hamburgers were sixty nine. Your cheeseburgers were eighty nine cents. They were a lot larger too. That's because we were kids. Yeah. Well, no, no, yeah. Even like as an adult, and when you would go to Wendy's, McDonald's, and you'd get the dollar menu, and like you'd go there and like Wendy's, where's the beef? You remember that back in the day, the old lady. Like literally, they the need to yeah. bring they need to bring her back right now because those ninety nine cent like well dollar twenty nine value bacon cheeseburgers like that's not a burger, that's like two slices of cheese and they throw a slice of cheese on top of how thin and small they are. Look, I still as we're talking about food related stuff, I still want to do the ultimate food run where one person goes and gets Taco Bell and their only job is to get like a bunch of soft shell soft shell tacos. That's their job. The only thing is to get soft shell tacos. One person goes and gets nothing but French fries from McDonald's. No, chicken nuggets from McDonald's. The hamburgers and I forget the whole combo. Like you're supposed to get one from each one that what they're based off of. Oh, uh, hamburgers from Burger King, uh, chicken sandwich and the French fries from Wendy's, uh, McDonald's chicken nuggets, mm -hmm. Taco Bells and the Taco Bell um, uh, soft shell tacos. That's the ultimate food run. Where you need like four friends to do this, or you live right right near one near your street where I have Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's, and Taco Bell all within a half mile of my house. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm missing my parents' house. I think we have Taco Bell. They have we have Taco Bell, Burger King, and McDonald's. Oh yeah, and Wendy's. We have all four. Yeah, but you have the time and right, so at least all the food stays warm enough. Yep. Yeah, that's true. That's the only problem is the food's got to stay warm enough. And, I, and currently in my new location in Brooklyn, I only have McDonald's and I only have Taco Bell. So I'm messed with and I'm missing Burger King and Wendy's and Wendy's doesn't exist in Brooklyn. So I'm thinking about maybe I should open up a franchise here in, in Brooklyn where it's Wendy's because make a little money. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe call it McDougal's. McD McDowell's. McDowell's. That's right. McDowell's. Damn it. My bad. Damn it. McDonald's. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys love today's show. Let us know what you guys thought of certain toys. I know a lot of you are looking forward to the Batman, the Lego Batman set, to the Ghostbusters set. I know some of you are looking forward to the My Little Pony sets. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's <laughs> that's Michael Burgi. My name is Arash. That's our Instagrams. Okay. Follow us, like, love us. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, YouTube, and on Facebook. See you guys all next week, or we'll catch you on Sunday with This Week in Pop Culture. Good night, guys.